not just my thinking. It is so. <laughs> and uh, why are you so certain? I'm a blind friend. All the four years we spent in the higher institution. I've toured around the whole country during long vacations and at other times. Kaduna, Kano, Abuja, Potakot, or where Omo are here, including when we were in school. So, what did you see? Same thing. Mm. Same thing. Oh? Yeah, the same lifestyle, the same attitude, whether one worships the Bible or the Quran. <laughs> and what is the lifestyle? The general lifestyle of every Nigerian. Indeed, every other being tends towards one common attitude. Attitude? Go ahead, what attitude could that be? Attitude towards money, riches, wealth. <coughs> go on, go on, talk, I'm listening, go on. <laughs> now you're about to receive the best education you ever got in the classroom. Mm. Oh boy, that thing goes for nothing. <laughs> no, but you know something? You never see an opening without a good punch. That way you keep your head above water. <laughs> so, you're going to buy me a beer, i give you more education. That's right. But go ahead, I'll It's not private. <laughs> it's using what you have to get what you want. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Norbert, this is the beer, okay? But I want you to understand that uh, beer does not come easy, especially when you wear this attire. <laughs> so, <laughs> Don't worry, sir. By the time I'm half through, you buy me another bottle. Well, I'm listening. Now go ahead. Talk. Talk to me. Do you know money is the ointment that lubricates every engine part of life? Mm. I've heard about this before. Somebody has actually told me this, but I can't remember who. Whoever told you that was not exaggerated. Now listen to me. That's exactly what I'm here to do. So tell me. Talk to me. Do you know money is a sixth sense that helps you enjoy the other five? You're just telling me now. <laughs> and I'll tell you again, with a full pass, you'll be short of friends. Uh, no, but wait, wait, let me understand something. Why this sudden obsession about money and riches? <laughs> because I have witnessed from afar the influence money wields. And I want to be part of it. So, uh, do you just become part of it by mere showing interest? Or is there any other thing? Um, not actually. But every of its principles starts with a desire. That's what I've developed all these years. We are in IMT laboring for a banking certificate. That is true. You're very correct. But again, did the person that told you this also tell you that money can't buy happiness? Oh, certainly. Only the rich say that. That means you certainly must have been thinking about this all this while, haven't you? Understatement. I have been living with the real instincts of making real money. You see, to develop the clever instincts of making plenty of money, you must have some element of stupidity towards it. That's what Pablo Picasso said. <laughs> I can see you're very serious about this. Say that again, and it will be my turn to buy you another bottle. <laughs> I will say it again before you can buy me. <laughs> hey, Robert, I have heard you talk so much about this money, 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 money. But what I still can't understand is this is your sudden obsession about money. But I want you to realize something. That no matter how you look at it, you need a job in the bank first. And that is the only way you can stay close to money. Wrong. The same money you're talking about. Wrong. Wrong? How do you know wrong? When I talk about staying close to money, I'm not talking about staying close to other people's money. Neither am I talking about counting other people's money. So when I count money, I'll be counting mine. Whichever way you look at it, you still need a job first. So I'll get in. I'm not going to work for anybody. Do you mean you're not working for anybody? Not me. You can't get rich working for someone else. Are you forgetting you're a banker? So what? Because the banking profession is the envy of every young man in this country today. Fred. As you speak. Fred. In IMT alone, hmm. how many of us 
Cool Red Banker graduated with us. Well, uh, I think he could have. Don't so think. It's 157. Fred, 157 from IMT and all. You've not talked about your neck, a suit, anywhere and all. Don't think about your life in Lagos, Lasso, Laspotec. I mean, how do you cope with that kind of competition? So tell me, what do you intend to do? Private business, straight. Private business? <laughs> no, but don't tell me you're scared of competition, are you? I am not scared of any competition. All I'm saying is that if you want to make money, and I mean real money, you can't count other people's money. Unless... Unless what? Unless you intend to steal from them. I'm not going to live the rest of my life serving other people. Money is the beginning and end of any worship. You have enough money, you're rich, and you're part of the living. You don't have it, you're part of the existing. Stop making excuses, okay? <laughs> and stop encouraging yourself. Because whichever way you look at it, once you die, it's six feet. Six feet? Below the earth's surface. That's yes, what yes, six feet. But I tell you one thing, it's better you're rich. Because when you're rich and you die, you'll be remembered forever. But you don't have money, you die, you're forgotten the same day. Okay, tell me. Tell me. Which plans do you have for yourself? When I take up this uniform, I'm going straight to Lagos and I'm moving into private business. Of course. You've been saying that you want to go into private business. And I know that. The question is, which business are you going to go into? Any business that rolls in money, and I mean big money, so that when I die, the obituary will read, with gratitude to God for a life well spent, and not with total submission to the will of God, we regret on us now, Fred. <laughs> There's not going to be any regret, because I'm going to make money, and I'm going to live for generations. Wait, what did you say that? <laughs> With gratitude to God for a life well spent. Because I'm going to leave money. That means you left money. Yes. And not. <laughs> With total submission to the will of God, we regret our nows. No, no, that means you didn't leave money. <laughs> <laughs> the families of this regret our now. Mama, eh, every other person got just one certificate. I got all this. Hey, eh? All these certificates for you, eh? Um, for my children. <coughs> This one is from uh, the state uh, cultural uh, troop. Mm -hmm. This one is from the director of NYC, uh, recognition from merits. Okay? Then, this third one is from the debate and literary club. So, it means you were there. All this Everywhere. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> yeah? So, you got four certificates, uh, while the other has got just one. Uh, see, Mama, these are all just my papers. So. Right. The most important thing now is for me to get a job and take good care of you. Look, anyone that is able to pick up all these certificates, uh, can you probably pick up a good job? <laughs> <laughs> eh? It's a good job to be able to take good care of you, Mama. <laughs> I know. I know. So, Mama, uh, <laughs> I'll leave tomorrow. Mm, tomorrow, me. yes. Hey. Isn't it too early? Eh? Won't you rest? Mama, rest. Yes. Rest. How can a man rest? A man who has the sole responsibility to take care of his mother, who did everything, contributed everything, sold even to the last rapper to see his son through university. Mama, there will be no rest now. I, know, I have to go there, get a job, so I'll be able to take good care of you. It's now my turn to take care of you. Uh, <laughs> Mama, I have to go. I have to go. I'm telling you, you see what I was telling you. All those people tripping in and out of that place. Huh? With those beautiful girls. A lot of them don't spend their own money. How do you know? 
most of these guys are job men. Baka. Baka. Do you know anybody here? You don't need to know any one of them to know what goes on in this country. There are job men everywhere. Baka, never mind. I am very sure that as soon as we find jobs and begin to make money, we will have the right to go in there, isn't it? Of course we have the right to go there. But I tell you one thing, and take it from me, there is no job out there for the average graduate. Alright? Who is thinking about deceiving himself of living a conscientious life? Oh, come on. Fredo, listen. These old men have hijacked all the jobs. They've shared the national cake. Leaving nothing for unlucky ones like us. Nothing. I think what you've said is true. I think I agree with you there. <laughs> agree with me all the way and let's face this social war head on. Social war? Of course. What do you mean? Sure, sure, sure. The battle to cross over the borderline which demarcates the rich and the poor is a social line. I don't understand you. From this very minute, I won't waste a second looking for jobs that are not there. We will emulate one noble man called Chavez. Who's Chavez? In the Bible, the man got tired of suffering, stood and challenged poverty and changed his fortune. My brother heard of a man called Chavez. Hey man, read the holy books. He later became a senator. Are you quoting the Bible or you're adding to it? Never mind the quotations. Just grab the message. Dust your hands. Grab your future in your own hands. Don't waste your precious time looking for jobs that are not there. There are no jobs out there. You know what I'm telling you all this? Because you're my friend, my very good friend. I don't want to leave you behind when I cross over to the other side. Secondly, you have a mother, a very precious mother. I mean, she became a widow without your father. She trained you in the university. What are you going to tell her? Hello? Hello? Just park that car. Listen, Baka. You see, once we finish service, I plan to build my mom a very big house. Yes. Breaking your neck because of that girl. You're an idiot. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah? Can't you see the girl is beautiful? Uh -huh. Look at the waist and everything. Exactly the message I'm trying to shoot down your neck. What message? You cannot retreat when you see a girl like that. Can't you see that she's with someone? Otherwise, I would have called her. The only reason why that girl cannot follow you is because she knows you can't pay her bill. How do you know? After all, you're saying someday, you're saying I will. Okay? Are, are I you will. certain of that day? Setting. After I've been writing applications, and I know very soon I'm going to get a job, and once I get a job, I'm going to make money, <laughs> and once I make money, I can afford any girl I want. <laughs> Check out ya. Believe that is a part of paying all your bills. Believe nothing. See, the country economic climate, the fact that hard work pays nothing in this country, and the few lazy bones around pick up all the things means that we have to take on our destinies in our own hands. But if you talk, talk like a civil man. I'm talking like a civil man. Listen, let me tell you something. In as much as we understand that there are social imbalances here and there, it happens everywhere in the world. Even the self-styled God's own country, America, it happens there. But at the same time, I want you to understand that there are good and conscientious men who work very hard to make money. Mm. All right? They make money. Pay their bills and still live very good lives. I tell you what, that your axiom, or rather utopia, will end you in misery or poverty. The rich political criminal still gets the front seat in the church. He's your elder, he's your deacon. Baka, forget that thing, it happens everywhere, man. Look, listen, listen to me. All yes. everywhere, it happens no, everywhere. Yes, yes, let me tell you one thing. The industrious banker sits all day in the bank counting other people's money. The baker bakes all his life and may not even have bread to eat. The teacher 
teaches the children of the mighty and risks his own children ending up poor. What happens to the lawyer? He sits with all his intelligence, with all his craft, defends a criminal for misappropriation and money laundering. The criminal sits in the dock, planning other deals. Listen, Norbert, let me tell you. No, you hold on, you hold on, have you finish. Norbert, you hold Check on. Check out, have you finish. Mark, are you hold on, you've been talking. Hold on. Hold on. Are you the only one to ask Mark to talk? And let me talk. Is let me tell you something. This ideal situation you're talking about only end you up in some kind of disaster. The only disaster in life facing men is poverty. Defeat poverty, you go to heaven. My eleventh commandment reads, Thou shalt be rich. Thou shalt what? Thou shalt be rich. Follow it and you'll be rich. Is there the eleventh commandment? That's it for me. Are you out of your mind? How could you? Fred! Yes? Why would you put us in this kind of tight corner? Fred, are you saying it's my fault? So whose fault is it then? Fred, a woman could do anything other than get herself pregnant. And the same woman could take precautions. How many times now? How many times did I insist on condom? How many times? Oh, are you not passing it to my table? Oh, so whose table do you want it to come to? Mine? Mine? Sorry. I'm sorry too. So what do we do? How do I know? What are you going to do about what? Nothing, man. Nothing. Nothing. Yes, ma'am. I thought I heard raised voices. Certainly, um, Mama. Um, we were discussing about my trip to Lagos. The people don't discuss by by shouting at each other. The point I was trying to make her understand, and that was why nothing. Mama's no, what? Oh, if you say so. You better think of what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know. This is a very serious situation. What do you mean? I honestly do not know. I won't go for any abortion. I'm not asking you to go for an abortion. Okay? Not with this issue of childlessness here and there. I'll be stupid to ask you to do that. So, so what do I tell my parents now? Exactly my worry. I don't know how to approach your father. It won't be easy. He will practically skin me alive. If only I had a job. You don't need a job to tell my father that you put his daughter in the family. But I sure do need a job to tell your father that I want to start my own family with his daughter. How do you know? You see, honey? We've been lovers all the way back in school. Yes. I have never really thought about this. But I think the baby is pushing me to do it. Don't you think it would be very appropriate if we got married? Marriage? Yes, marriage. Or do you want to have a baby for your father? How can I? The next time you are getting married. Um, yes, um, but... but what? You... you don't have a job. I don't either. That's my regret. But there's no two ways about it. Sweetheart, we must get married. I know I love you well enough to want to spend the rest of my life with you. Except your otherwise wish. Of course, of course, you know that I've always wished that. Then if you do, we must then rise up to it. 
We have to tell our parents of our intentions. No matter how hard it might sound to them. From what you are saying, young man, it's like you're asking for my brother than in my life. Oh, yes, that's what I'm here to do, sir. Have you gotten her consent? I mean, her permission first? Uh, yes, I have, sir. Fred, sir. does a mother know you are here? Yes sir. yes, sir. And what was her reaction? I don't understand you, sir. How happy or otherwise is she on hearing that the son is going to get married shortly? You mean if she's given her consent? Oh, yes, she has. You see, someone can give you her conscience without being happy about it. Don't you think so? I don't quite follow you, sir. Well, as a matter of fact, young man, I really don't have anything against you. My duty as a father is to grant my daughter's wish. She has told me in confidence that she wants to spend the rest of her life with you. I also wish so, sir, and that's why I'm here. Good, but the issue in question goes far, far beyond my wishes. I don't understand you. Living together as husband and wife is a different ball game from courtship. I know that, sir. And um, when a woman leaves her father's house to live with her life partner, she automatically becomes the complete responsibility of the husband. You're absolutely correct, sir. And I'm also aware that you are neither employed nor she. Yes, we're not. But we're optimistic that uh, very soon we'll get a job. Why not? So, you've courted my daughter for four years. One, two, three, four years. When it's when it's already now. Daddy, I am a woman. Shut up! Shh. Young man, you can't survive it. But if you, if you get married now, your preoccupation must be in finding a job. Yes! Find a job first. Settle down. Then get a house. I mean, a residence of your own, instead of pestering your mother on daily basis, inconveniencing her. Really, sir, it's actually... There is nothing more to say, young man. She's here, my daughter. She's just asking. All you need to do is to go get yourself a job to be able to convince me of my concerns. That's the only way out. What do you want me to say? Don't tell daddy now. What do you want me to tell you? Now, how do you expect this marriage to survive when both of you do not have a job? Rose, oh, I thought you were smarter than this. And as for you, Fred, let me tell you something. It's not my daughter's life you're going to gamble with. If you want to marry her, you go out there, get yourself a job. Then you can come back and ask for her hand in marriage. Excuse me. What are we going to do? I honestly do not know. Come by in. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Yes, I invited you. So how is life with you? Fine, thank you, sir. Good. Fred, I'd like you. 
I mean, I couldn't have asked for more impersonality for a son-in-law. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. But you see, a world without women would have been the perfect world. I have been in this marriage game for 30 years or thereabouts. And I tell you, it's no fun. Whenever a woman is involved, game rules change. I know that, sir. I know. Good. But what you may not know is that even the best of women can degenerate into something sinister. If the husband has no wear with her to feed, clothe, or take care of her generally. I know I will take good care of my family. You are starting badly. Very badly, I must confess. No man succeeds with such game plan like getting married before a job. It's usually the other way around. Okay? And take this piece of advice home. Never you borrow money to get married. Because the same person wouldn't lend you again to feed your wife. But sir, I do not intend to borrow. You haven't convinced me, friends. You have not. I won't let you into the wrong idea that you married the wrong woman by letting you have my daughter. Not at all. For your own good, and from one man to another, well, kind of take a take. Try get a job. Work for three years, make some money, and then come back. Three years? Yes. Then we would look at the comfort, I mean, to know if you are really ready for marriage. Sir, things would have gone very wrong then. That's why you got it all wrong. Nothing would have gone wrong. Nothing. Absolutely. I know my daughter. She's everything her mother. We caught it for eight years, you know, before we got married. This is a different case. And I'm sure you're speaking the way you, you are because you don't understand. This case is open and closed. do not solve problems. Rather, they increase them. You don't understand, Mom. You don't. Let me tell you something. The first rule about marriage is grow up. Then you get married. When do I grow up? At 80? Not necessarily. Mom, for God's sake, I am 25. I am 25, Mom? How old were you when you got married to daddy? I am not talking about biological growth here. Rather, I am talking about mental and financial growth. I am a graduate, mom! A graduate without a job. I will find one. Oh, I didn't know it. Sam, what are we waiting for? Relax, mom. Mom, relax. Oh, let me tell you, my dear. You are not the issue here. Rather, Fred is. I've always thought you liked Fred. Oh, come on. Now I know better. I have nothing against Fred. Okay? I don't believe you, Mom. The other day you screamed at him, Mom. You screamed at him! All for the sake of my only daughter. I don't believe you. It's all for your selfish interest. What? Yes. You don't like Fred because he has no budget behind us. Or showered you with money as a prelude to her asking for my hand in marriage. Man. 
and it takes care of my every need. And I can't believe you accused me of all those stupid intentions. Anyway, for your information, this marriage will not hold. Why? You people cannot live on thin air. How many times do I have to tell you that? Now you still think I am a baby, right? So what do you expect me to call you? A baby! In the face of this senseless proposed marriage of yours. Senseless? Of course that is what it is. Now tell, look at me, don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying Fred is not a good choice as a husband. But both of you are not doing anything. And for your information, we do not intend to take care of you after your marriage. Period. For God's sake, Lord, we do not need your help. Oh, we do not need your help. Easier said than done, my dear. Mom, I'm pregnant. What? Pregnant? As in carrying a baby? Pregnant as in P-R-E-G-N-A-N-T. Pregnant! That reminds me, you promised you were going to Starcom's company today for the phone. Um, I couldn't get that tone when I tried minutes ago. I couldn't make it. I see. Um, honey? Yes. This marriage thing between Fred and Rose, don't you think we should, um, you know, we should give them our consent? Why this sudden change in the loyalty, if I may ask? Well, you know, the way they've been going on, I see their destinies are tied together. I was wondering, you know, you never know. Maybe when they get married, there'll be loads of opportunities coming their way. And what has it given you, if I may ask? Who? Fred, of course. What has it given you to tow this mosaic line? He has not given me anything. Rather, he has given Rose. And what did she give you, if I may ask? Well, what he gave her cannot be shared, actually. Rose is pregnant. Who the Moses? Did I hear you right? What? Uh, but I have always believed both of you were responsible. We are, sir. Shut up. How can you call yourself a responsible man when you have put my daughter in the family way? No same person does that before marriage. I know, sir. So why the blunder? Sir, Rose and I have been lovers. Then you have to become sinners too? No, sir. For, for four years now we've been courting. And you know that four years is not four days, sir. Oh, shut up! So that gives you license on the chief? Not exactly. But at the same time, we're no, we're no saints. I'm not a reverend father. And she's not a Catholic. No, either. Shut up! What do you know about Catholic? Sir, it is our fear of God, humanity and respect for posterity that is forcing us into this curse. We have put consent in our adults and graduates at dance. Our mates feel the doctor's hidden fears for abortions on a daily basis. So why didn't you do uh, No, sir. We, we couldn't do that for our, for our fear of the matrimonial sale. We both do not want a child outside the wedlock. And I'm sure you and madam wouldn't want that either. We made a mistake already, sir. We're human beings. But we must not live and die in our mistake. All we're asking of you, sir, is to just give us the go ahead and watch us. I'm sure the good Lord will make a way for us. Who you are. Have 
Have you forgotten where you come from? How can I, Mama? Huh? What's bringing about this? Why bring this shame? This ungodly act. Shame? Yes, yeah, shame. Ungodly, irresponsible for heaven's sake. Huh? You forgot how I brought you up. Huh? Have you forgotten the yearning gap between the rich and the poor? Mama, is that why you came to wake me up? Yes. Mama, I expect you to support me. And don't tell me what you're telling me now. Support you? How can I support the evil? Evil? Yes. Okay, if you don't support evil, why don't you support the evil doer? Correct him. Teach him. Afuma, you're beyond redemption. Since you threw your moral code to the dogs. You came home with four certificates. One, two, three, four. You showed me three. And you hid one from me. Eh? Afuma, you, you promised you were going to take care of me. Eh? You said you would take care of your mother. Well, I know better. Mama, you call me evil, is it? You call me evil. I am the devil. I am Lucifer himself. Because I impregnated a girl that I love makes me evil, isn't it, Mama? That I want to settle down and live up to my responsibilities as a man makes me evil, isn't it, Mama? Mama, I'm asking you, I am now evil. That I have refused to do what my fellow young boys do. Shedding innocent blood through abortion makes me evil, isn't it? Mama, that I want to bring you a daughter-in-law makes me evil. Mama, that I want to give you a grandchild Stop. makes me evil. Mama, I am evil. Oh. I am evil. Stop. Stop. I am evil, Mama. You're breaking my heart. Stop. Stop. Misunderstood me, and that's why he's mad at me for crying out loud, Rose. You're his only daughter. What a father. What am I saying? Me, in particular, I do not have a job. Besides, I come from a poor family. Oh, Fred, Fred. But it's true. It's very true. Look at it. Now, tell me, Rose, how many rich men are willing to give out their daughter in marriage to a poor man? Nobody. But my father is different. I hear you. That's said that again. Your father would be very willing to throw me to the police cell anytime. Not my father. Listen, Fred. Your ability and boldness to face the challenges as a man is under test, okay? Don't recall under his seeming vehemence. The most important thing is that I've made it clear it's your baby. And it stays. Like my everyday son remains. Fred is the one. Why are you making me do this? Alright? Okay. I'll see him again. Okay. If your man's been locked up, mm. so be it. Oh. <laughs> After all, uh, Romeo died for Juliet. Huh? <laughs> Juliet also died for Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good day, sir. Good day, Fred. Sit down. Yes, for the second time in three days, I'm inviting you to my office. You see, as a knight of Tembulumba, what you do with my daughter is enough to it's communicate me from the church. And at my age, that would be as painful as death. I'm sorry, sir. Please forgive me, sir. But it's all right. I'm through with the shop. Unable to weigh the 
entire situation from a different perspective. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Don't thank me yet, Fred. You see, I don't believe in worshipping man. I worship God. I know that you can hurry, marry and wed my daughter without anybody knowing it, that she's pregnant. But God knows. That to me makes a lot of difference. So right away, I'm excommunicating myself from the church until your wedding day. Are you saying Rose is my only child? And I wouldn't want her to go through the trauma of the what I have to do to save myself from the church. That is my only that. Oh, please, sir. Oh, please, sir. Please. I will give you the go ahead. You don't need any ceremony or visiting my house severally with elders. You don't need all that. All you need is just a few people. Not exceeding four, including your mother. Sir, what do you mean? Your bride price should not exceed 500 naira. And I give my daughter. But you must do something for me immediately. That is, arrange a wedding by which I mean the priests blessing and joining your hands in the exalted sacrament of matrimony. Thereafter, you can come for your ceremonies after her delivery. Thank you very much, sir. Thank get you up, very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Get up. Um, from today, I take you as a son and ever heart. Go to me before I say. And while you are going through that, the chairman of the bank is my good friend. He called to inform me that he has a spot for new employees. And actually, without that, it's uh, for my daughter. I wasn't interested. You know, because I need, I want my daughter to pick any job. I mean, any job on merit. But right now, I can't do that line in love with your circumstances. Okay, so this is all about... I have always emphasized that a man should call the shots for a marriage to hold. Yes. Yes. And, um, I can't give you my daughter now that you're not employed. You have to give yourself a job to support her and for her to give you her full respect. And thereafter, she too can find a job. What's so, up? Are you not misunderstanding your daughter Rose? I mean, in terms of reliability and complete holiness. My dear young man, I have been in this marriage business for three decades. One thing you should learn is that you should not allow your wife to ever catch you napping. Go to the bank with that later and get a job. I mean, she got the job. Take your time when you're comfortable. It could be in three years. Come back for the proper white kind. Oh my god. Can the people like this still exist? From today, like I said, you are my son. Thank you very much, Daddy. It's my pleasure, son. You're welcome.
And who did God use? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's something I want to discuss with you. Mama, I am thinking of bringing Rose to live with us here. Rose? Which Rose? Ah. Rose now? Is there another Rose you know? Oh, Rose! Rose! Uh, uh, Why? Did they eject them from their house? Oh, no, no, Mama. I want to bring her in here to live with us as my wife. As a woman. Wife. Why? Yes. He said, Mama, he might surprise you to know eh, that uh, uh, the person God used to give me the job, her father, has given his consent. Sir, honestly, I don't know where to start. Is it that you accepted us as your in-laws or that you gave us job at this hard time. Hmm? Sir, my heart is so full of joy that my mouth cannot express it. Please, sir, accept this token as a little way of showing appreciation. Thank you. Friend, you mean you went and brought a mother to come and find me? What have I done that men have not done for others? Some of yours is exceptional. I mean, who am I uh, to be found anywhere close to a man like you? <laughs> My mother and I are really very appreciative of everything you've done for us. Mommy, thank you very much. You're welcome. But really, it's nothing. Ah, it's something. <laughs> it's a very big thing. Well, I guess the only thing we can do here is support the couple. <laughs> Their destinies are tied together, so. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Madam, you see, you have a very formidable son in Fred. Very formidable. Um, all he requires is just a push, and it's there. Thank you very much, sir. I am very happy that my son led me to this wonderful family. May God reward you accordingly. So we have to run along so that we can arrange for the bride prize and uh, the wedding as you directed. Okay, uh, I, there's still time. Let me get you something to drink. Hey, well, suit yourself. And, uh, the important thing, as far as I am concerned, and my wife is concerned, the important thing is that um, they are happy. That's the bottom line. Their happiness is our happiness. to a new residence. You look at this. <laughs> Hi! Yes, um, take care of my daughter and your mother. I'll go with you. Yes, oh, God. I'll go with you. My in-law. You're, very welcome. You're, you're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you're welcome. you. Welcome. Hey. Yes. Thank you very much, Daddy. Thank you very much. Mm. Mommy? It's actually nothing to make much fuss about, you know. Now that you are a bona fide member of my family, and the story obviously has to change. Old things are passed away. Now new things are here, and we just have to enjoy them. I am actually shocked and overwhelmed about you. But that's okay. There is nothing we do for you that is uh, too much, as a matter of fact. Yes. May God reward you in the most appropriate way. Amen. Amen. Mommy. Amen. Thank Amen. you very much. 
um, mommy and daddy kept all this away from me. Give scissors to be one, if not shrouded in surprise. Oh, daddy, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, mommy. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, mommy, daddy, you're the best friend in the whole world. Indeed, the oh. very best. Why <laughs> not? What's the problem? Memories. Memories. I wish friends' father had been here today to witness all this. It's okay, my <laughs> Lord. It's okay. Eh? Let's not think about that now, okay? It's a happy moment. Give me a smile. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, my. Okay, <laughs> but my law is not. The best you can do to represent him is by continuously giving out good advice to your son and uh, daughter at all times. You know. You're indeed God sent. I think your son he is God sent. In fact, he's a wonderful young man. That's why I've always believed in him. So let's go. <laughs> Who told you? Get up. Get up! What is it? Who sent you? Mama, I, mean, I don't understand. Look at yourself. Just take a good look at yourself. Mama, what is wrong with you? Eh? What is wrong with me? The woman in your position does not pound you. Oh, that's Mama. <laughs> I feel strong, so I can't do it. No, come out of it. Look at that. You cannot do it. Not when I am here. No, I can't do it now. What is no. here? Finding here. No, I can pound a lot here. To last us for a decade. <laughs> you go over there and cook soup. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what you will do for me, no? Oh, the way you are treating me in this house, you will spoil me. And that's the only way. I will become a lazy pregnant. No, that's the only way to treat my. Beautiful wife, eh? Mama. Eh? Go, go, go and cook the soup. While I can't be here, huh? My daughter, look, I had five miscarriages before I had your husband and the sister Chica. Mama, five miscarriages? Yes. And they were all due to my carelessness. Eh? Now that I have learned my, my, my lesson, I will not let my daughter-in-law do strenuous job again. Okay? Mama, it was pounding your cans. You know, it was... Ah, no! Something as little as washing clothes can lead to miscarriage. Please. Mama, but I feel strong. So that is why I'm no matter how strong you are, I don't want you to pound them again until six months after delivery. Do you hear me? Six months. Yes, so yes. Six months. Hey driver, pull over. Do something now! Do something! Hello? Hello, yellow banana! The good and the morning is actually in you. See, I am with you. And I believe you know the man in the owner's corner. You mean you don't know him? No. But that is totally impossible. There is nobody in the whole of this town that does not know him. Well, I am not from this town. I only came to visit my sister. Hey, now I understand. I pardon you for your ignorance. <laughs> okay. For your information, 
and your consumption and your education. He is a cheer. I could go what it will. Doom, doom, doom. I go there, cheer. And he decides to have a word with you. And sir, I was just hopping from the other side. Today is your lucky day. Yes, I go there, cheer, boo. We'll take you home. No, I would rather walk. After your information, I am going against this thing. Uh -huh. So where is she? I'm gonna check. She's obviously new in this town. Ah. Moreover, she's born again. Do. Born again or no born again? No way, no way. But they say you have PhD in matters like this. Uh, huh? I'm gonna check, but you know, every day is not a Christmas. Christmas or no Christmas, eh? You must find out about that girl. She can't escape me. Where's Aguna Chibu? No, you're a problem. Consider it done, Aguna Chibu. Aguna Chibu, come on, come on, let's get out. Aguna Chibu, come on, come on, come on. It must be done. Aguna Chibu, I don't want to. Oh, baby, I'm going to go. It's only in the city, and I'm going to go. You're going to see a song. This one, you're here at this end, Chief. Yeah, Pastor. Whenever I go to bed, it is a big problem. I wake up in search of a solution. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once a problem comes into this place, it disappears. Exactly why I came. So what is your problem? Uh, Pastor, there is a new girl in this complication. Uh, by name Grace. I'm sure you have even noticed her. I mean, you know, um, so, you know, it is impossible for any man not to notice our succulent beauty. <laughs> are you sure we are sending the same message? By his grace. By his grace. So this grace, I want her. You want her? Oh, yes. You know, Pastor, this church needs to grow, you know. Imagine split unit there. Split unit there. Big screen there. And better chairs. And Agune Chibo can single-handedly make this happen. <laughs> you know, when some of us who are willing to invest in the church bring our millions, we deserve some respect in our pastor. Yes, of course. So you understand when I mean I need that girl. I don't really understand. Pastor, why ask me this question now? Eh? Why ask me this question? You understand now? If I was not a successful businessman, I would have been a successful pastor. Oh, yes, I think so. Oh, yes. We are in this kind of business. You know, I play on the intelligence of people to make money. You play on the intelligence of your congregation to make money. <laughs> it's business. Business. All you need to do is to see the right vision and pray the right prayers for the right people. And your type is wild. <laughs> <laughs> You are the second pastor in this church, isn't it? Right? Yes. All you need to be the general overseer of your own church is to run this place one hundred percent business. You know, like I said, I want this girl. See the right visions. Pray for the right people, and your weekly pay will increase. Wow! See, you are talking to a pastor who wants to be general overseer. That is if it's the wish of His Highness. Look, pastor. It is the wish of His Highness. Oh yes. Even the Bible said it. That He wishes above all things that we prosper. You know? It is only that you have not recognized that. Please. <laughs> Look. I am here to facilitate that you own a big church of your own. You are? Oh yes. I, Agno Chibo, will single-handedly build you a very big church. In one calendar year, just imagine. Church of the Messiah and the synagogue and corporate limited. <laughs> Within one year? Why? Hmm? And uh, all you need to do is to see the right session. Tell Grace that in one of your previous session with God, you saw it. That Agunichibu is her husband. Her husband? Wow. 
but you are married. So did uh, Solomon. 700 times for that matter. And he still had time for 300 conco. <laughs> what is the matter? Sir, this is Yes, my dear. Do you know when the pastor told me we are destined for each other? Yeah. I almost laughed at his face. You see it? You of little faith. Huh? Well, I mean, how can a wealthy man like you just decide to pick up a girl like me and decide to marry her? I didn't decide it. It is heaven that decided for me. Yes, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> hey! I think I almost walked away from paradise. That is the foolishness of the little girls of nowadays. Yes, they go from one church to another looking for me. If you will come straight on, then come around my way. <laughs> anyway, thank God I confided in my friend Choma. Confided in who? My friend, of course. My friend of Choma. <laughs> in that case, may I meet her? Meet her? Why? Come on. Agune Chemba is a generous man. I want to thank her for giving you good cancer. <laughs> eh? And I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you something to give her. Before I finally meet with her. <laughs> All right. She's my friend. She deserves it. Ah, to let her have a Ah, come for it, you. Chief, chief. Ma, come over one time. Chief, chief. Mom.
Innovation. I know when you make supersonic progress in your place of work, jealousy sets in. Jealousy? Sure. Among your peers and your working colleagues. Oh, that? Exactly. And you must take that seriously. You must be very careful. Thank you very much. I will. Okay? Two more promotions. I'll become a manager. Hmm? At the rate at which my bank is expanding, they are most likely going to become a branch manager. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> mm, honey, that's the glad thing to hear. But you must take it seriously. I mean, you have to be very careful. I sure will, sweetie. I'm coming from you. <laughs> back at home and nurse our baby. Honey, Jenny is a year now. Will I nurse her to her husband's house? Who told you we're not going to make another baby? Come on, Fred. You don't want me to become a complete housewife, do you? Listen, Rose. I like it the way we are. Okay? Honey, I'm not. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hiding away at home. You're not. Jenny is enough to keep you busy, okay? I'll provide all the excitement. Honey, she's driving me crazy. Certainly not, Jen. Okay? And I hope you're not looking at me getting the house help. Why? The inconveniences and things I hear about them. Honey, honey what have you had? They're all the same. Rose, keep my home intact. That's all I ask from you. 
Honey, things are getting worse these days. You know, both parents do the hunting. Take care of my home and I'll do the hunting. Honey, but I want to help. Thanks all the same for wanting to help. But I want you to sit back at home. Rose, I want the best for Jenny. I want you to be around her. Nurse her. You know, say to her. Teach her. Teach her all she needs to know, you know. All she needs to go into an intelligent young girl. Things no nanny or making can teach her. Alright? And once you do that perfectly well, one time I'll go over drive so that I can provide for the family. I can. So just sit back and go. Alright? Do I agree with that? It's okay. It's my sweetie. Come on. Mama, Fred is ever at I agree with you that it is not good for a young girl like you to sit down at home without doing anything. Okay? Ma, well, thank you for understanding. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, look, but you should remember that it is love. He loves you very much, eh? That's why he says you should sit down at home and look after the other angel, my granddaughter. Eh? You know you're an angel yourself. <laughs> So I told you to sit down at home and take care of home for you. Mama, I know, I know, I think it But I don't want to end up like my mother. How? You know, that was exactly what my father did. Hmm. Today she doesn't know one bit of what she studied in school. Hmm. I mean, we go to school to learn and impact knowledge to people around us. Hmm. I told you I am going to talk to friends. I'll talk to you. I yeah. want you to lose that frown. Smile. Please smile. Eh? I'm, uh, I'm smiling, but I don't, I don't want to be staying in this house alone. It's too big, you know. Because I'm tired of staying in this house. Yeah, you're smiling now. Don't, don't. Don't talk to you, okay? <laughs> thank you. Okay. Good day, Daddy. Oh, I was actually looking out for you. Uh, Fred, I'm the other living room. Quite some time. How are you? Very well, sir. Welcome. Very well, sir. Welcome. Very well, sir. Welcome. Thank you, Mr. Dad. So, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Fine, fine, fine. So that's what? Very well, sir. How is my daughter and granddaughter? Oh, your daughter is doing wonderfully well. I see. Your granddaughter is going to do something else. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything in the house, she has turned upside down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, this is their curiosity age. They're just like the mother at that age. <laughs> <laughs> so what? whether she wants to become a banker. <laughs> you can say that again, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, thank so, you. what am I offering you? Uh, nothing. And um, how is the banking industry doing? Hectic as usual, but we thank God. I see. We thank God. Just like the boy you said rolling, I have now grown to become one of the branch managers in my bank. You have? Yes. That's splendid. In three years, that's why I called you a formidable young man. <laughs> I see, that's interesting. <laughs> we thank God. Yes. Uh, so, that let me just go straight away to uh, one of the reasons why I'm here. I don't know what life would have been for me without you. It's uh, God's doing. Not even my biological father could have done as much as you've done for me. Oh, come on, friend. Don't insult your father. I don't mean to, sir. Well, the other reason why I came is to let you know that I'm all set. Like I told you three years ago for my traditional wedding. You are? Yes, Daddy. Good. Well, it is not compulsory that you must do it. Um, the most important thing in the sight of God has been performed. And I personally don't believe in the wasting of money. Yes, I know. At the same time, Man has to be satisfied as well. And I don't consider it a waste of money. Well, if you think you don't withstand the, the rigors, well, I can, sir. <laughs> so I don't know um, if uh, I can come over at your 
convenience and uh, pick up the list of what your customer demands. Uh, never mind that cock a doddle do. Prepare as much as you are able uh, to perform and come over. There is nothing like any list to worry about from me. Nothing. Another of your gesture. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. And um, when is it coming up? I'm actually looking at September. In four months' time? Yes, Daddy. I see. Uh, that means I'll communicate my wife. Uh, I'm sure she'll be thrilled. You know women. You she know has women. every reason to be thrilled. The both of you are, uh, has been most splendid to me. You don't have to mention it always. I think it's God that is doing everything. So how is my baby girl doing in school? Beautifully well. Oh, that's my girl. <laughs> Um, honey, don't you think it's high time I found something doing? Again? I thought we were over with this. Oh, no, but you were doing us in school. But I told you that you were going to sit back at home and nurse all my children. Did I tell you that? But now that another has refused to come. Stop! Moose, just stop! We saw for the original after morning mass on Monday, didn't we? Um, it, uh, well, didn't we? We did. So, what did the council? Um, wait on the Lord. I'm asking you, what did Father Reginald council? That we should wait on the Lord. So, why are you being impatient? Honey, um, well, I'm sorry. You know, but I'm just tired of staying at home doing nothing. Are you listening to me? I buy you enough books. Enough films to keep you busy. Except you do not want to. Can I ask you a question? Um, why do you vehemently resist my intentions to work? Because I'm capable of taking care of us. I am capable of providing for us. I am capable of fending for us. I'm capable of meeting up all our needs. That's why if you want to know. I just pray that you don't regret this. Or rather, we don't end up regretting this. Sorry to disturb you, sir. It's okay. Sir, it concerns the upward review of salary in this company. What about it? Sir, the arrangement was so scanty. For instance, my name was not shortlisted. Some junior staff in this company earn more than I do. So I said I have to come and discuss this with you. Let me ask How long has you worked in this company? Sir, almost 15 months now. 15 months? Yes, sir. You mean you have been working here for 15 months? And my unfortunate kid does not know who you are? Hey! Woman oh, has broken the code. You want to come and discuss it with me? Okay, come. I should come there. Oh, yes. Am I a shrine? Hmm? Sir, are you alright? You know, sir, it is you who wants to like Get the ammo away. What do you mean, sir? Oh, bro, bro, bro. Look, it is that thing that we do that bring high blood pressure down. <laughs> it is usually supplied to us by pretty ladies like you. <laughs> Sir, please, I'm a married woman. Ha. And please don't go further than this. You have five minutes of work, and your salary will be boom! And you don't have to be mad. Nice. <laughs> you can go and think about it like that. <laughs> Sir, is it what it takes to work in this company? Yes, it is what it takes to work in most places nowadays. Look, you have what I don't have, and I have what you want. So give me what you have, and I will give you what you want. Eh? Are you the only married woman I can go with? Sir, please, let my salary remain as it is. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you I'm going to be screening soon. Yes! And I will fire some people and retain some. Yes! 
Sir, please, if you want to fire me because I'm refusing extramarital affairs with you, you can go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. But please, enough is enough. Eh? You can excuse me now. Thank you. Who knows even if you can use this your back house or what? No going back. Yes. And then, now listen to me. And listen very well. I'm not here to butter words with you. Whether you like it or not. The next Igwe Bam! Whether I like it or not. Bam! <laughs> That's what I said. And I hadn't water in my mouth when I said so. Okay. You You are so foolish that you talk with your mouth without the knowledge of your head. You should have known by now that the position of Igwe or the clown is not meant for senseless heads like that of yours. And I know that. Shut up! I said, shut up! You've suddenly become so proud and arrogant. Didn't mm -hmm. see? Ask oh. him my position. Ask him! Oh. The lady grave is barely six months old in the grave. And you are stirring up this replacement saga. What is wrong with you? Oh. Oh. It is my title. Look at you. It is my title. What's wrong with the Daniel do? Please ask him. Huh? Please ask him. Suit yourselves. Suit yourselves! You people can say anything you want to say. All I know is that Nzedu is humble and most qualified to be the next Igwe. Period. Thank you. Look at who's talking. Thank you. Look at who's talking. Eh? What do you know about our country? You who spent your entire life in the mouth. Eh? What do you have to show for it? You come here to talk about country. What do you know about it? I don't even know who invited you in the first place. Why did they sack you from the police at the first place? I retired. Who? Oh. You think we don't know the offense you committed? You, you, you want to be the Igwe? Nonsense! Listen, Gordia, let me tell you. If you like, cry to hell or heaven. I have been endorsed as the next Igwe, and I'm going to become the Igwe of this <laughs> Yes. yes. <laughs> don't go in back. Anna. We shall see nothing. We shall see. Okay. Ex police criminal Aye. to become the Igwe of this land. Man. While I am here, the cultural grew, yes. <laughs> the chief in council for many years. And you know that I'm interested in the throne. You know it. Yes. Good. That you were a chief in the council. Okay. Does not let's go. Go, let's go. 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 let us go you can go to hell. You don't yeah. need your presence. We fell down. Nonsense. Um, don't mind that. Huh? Just go to us. The chief priest. Give him one or two bottles of water. That's what they are for. Chicken, huh? Is he up there? Yes. As soon as I handle the offer, automatically I'll leave it. Yes. 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 I shall do that. Igwe! Oh, you don't get it. Ah! Don't mind us. How was the planting season this year? Nothing to rejoice about. Uh, Why? And there was enough rain? Of course. The rain starts too early and most of us went to the farm to cultivate. Even though the same rain brought the flood that swept away most of the planted crops. That is life for you, Mama. Sometimes uh, blessings come to his own ears. What can be? You didn't let anyone know that you are coming. Yes, Mama. You know, it's not as if I plan to come back. Until the need arose for me to develop that my plot of land at uh, Anansi Junction. Mm. You know, I told you I want to build a fuel station. Mm. So good of you. But. But. But what? What can be? Look at me very well. How old would you want me to be before you give me grandchildren? Mama, you got also. Mama, you got also. Tell me how long to wait. You 
you What you need this guy to do for? Who are you going to ask me to What kind of question is that? I want to know now. Okay. I want those that will take care of me while I walk calmly to the grave. Mama, uh, so you are saying now that I'm not taking care of you. Eh? With all these beautiful things, all these good, good things that I've provided for you. Not that kind of care. Every parent wish to carry his or her grandchild. Play with them. Go some fibu. Can't get more gadiche. Okay, okay, okay. You we'll have yours. When? How about mama? Okay. Where is your wife? Mama, how many times will you ask me this question? I say she has traveled abroad. What is she doing in Obodoyibo? I said she went for holidays, summer holiday. Why is she running away from her matrimonial duties? Running away? Yes. Did you see her now? If we let it ever. How would you make her pregnant? By post. Mama, but your own time, you allow God to give you your child at his own time. We might all be different. Not when the woman runs away from the husband. Children come through nights of close relationship. Eh? Okay, it's not as if I'm not trying. Then try harder. What is you get an ike? Bring her home and give me a grandchild. If she's not capable, then find another woman. Mama! Have you forgotten we're a Christian family? One man, one wife. I know, I know. But I need a grandchild. I need a grandchild. What can you Don't let me regret having you as my only child. You won't regret it now. I'll give you your own grandchildren. I'll give you 12. I'll give you 12. You're welcome. No. No. So how was your trip back from Lagos? Well, thank God. Thank God. Where would you go? Uh, what is it that I'm hearing? That you people want to kill yourselves over the Uber's position? Ah, uh, I'm with you. In fact, that is exactly why I am here. Uh, yes, accept this little thing and help me out. Do you sit down? Eh? Do you sit down? Huh? So you want to be ego? Ego! Come on, I'm sorry I didn't tell you before now. Not that I want to ignore your influence. No! So you know? Of course I know. But you just did. No, not exactly that. Not exactly so. I was waiting to know my opponent. So that I can now come out in full. And I have no name. He's on it. I'm it. I'm it. I'm it. Hey, no, sir. That's no entity. Who came back from Algeria last year? It was a policeman. I'm going to achieve it. Do you know that that man has been using his influence to harass me up and down anywhere I go? Saying, uh, 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 no one born of woman can stop him. <laughs> yes! You mean Anna said no man born of a woman can stop him? Yes. But, Adam, let me tell you. The elders have already endorsed me. But I know that without you, nobody nursing the ambition for the leadership will succeed. So you know, of course yes. And do you know that you are presenting Agune Ejibo with snaps? You want Agune Ejibo? I will see a go to do this. 
Don't you have a parcel of land? Eh? I must near the road. A land near the road. That's not land. Look at your face. It's written all over your face. You can never rule this community. See? Ma, 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 ma. Don't say that. Don't say that. Just tell me what else do I give you? That's all. Look at it. I told you. I know you come from a family of people without being brave. Overall. Yes! Eh? No wonder your father chose of all the places to die. Coco Yang Farm. Koko Yang Farm meant for women. That is where your father chose to die. I am your elder. You have just insulted me. You sit down. I tell you the truth and you say it's insult. Sit down. Don't you know that when you become the equal, you will have power to gather people's land? Eh? Yes. This one plot of action is for women not to Use your brain. I will think about that. I will think about it. You have to do it. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Aha! Igwe! I will let you go, Mama. I go more than Igwe. Do it! Do it! Do it! Bring down this. Bring down the gate. I said, knock on the gate, don't ask me questions. Who pay you to go down my gate? I'm going to let you. Anya. I'm going to let you. Anya. I have come to greet you. Since you are the only one in Ogun. Who does not know that uh, Agunu Ejiwo, Alu Siego is in town since yesterday? Oh yes, I have come to pay homage. After all, you cannot trace your way to my house. Oh no, Chief, it's not true. See, I heard that you were around. But I've been tied by these endless meetings with elders. Meeting, meeting, meeting. Meetings with the elders? Yes. For what? Oh, haven't heard. The elders have endorsed me as the next TV. Uh -huh. They have. In that case, let me pay homage now. <laughs> Not yet. In the next seven market days, I shall be responding to that thoughtful respect from you. Shut up! Why well, shut up? You burn my foot. Me shut up. Yes, yeah, shut. shut up. Let me warn you from this very minute, you should stop having those meetings with the elders. I should stop having a meeting. Yes. Why? If I ever hear with my two naked ears again that you are still holding meetings with the elders, I will teach you the power that goes before me. For your information, I have endorsed in Zedu as the next Igwe. If you know what is good for you, the next time you see him pass, you will lie flat and prostrate for the evil. You can be serious. You can never be serious. Yes. Uh, Aguna Chibo cannot be serious. Me, not serious. <laughs> okay. But you're tired of your own. You do. Let's go. You are nothing. Absolutely nothing. Why we have 
will celebrate you. It is my endorsement of the do. As the next thing we say, Bangwa. Agony Chibo. Oh, yes. I heard that uh, Anya, that sat policeman, is flexing his body. I have never trusted a policeman in my life. And I cannot start now. Unwearable Jazwet. I don't know about you. Police. Uh, is the report reaching me that you are in support of Annie? No, me. Myself. I'm not normal. That is. <laughs> Sacked police officer. <laughs> you see it? That is good. In that case, I need to go to the court. Do you talk to the others? Let us have my The message has gone round. I agree, Chibo. I agree. I agree. I This is just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, yes, I've even seen the other others. I agree, Chibo. I agree, Chibo. You see? I will continue to support the affairs of this community and present you with such gifts more often. If Duru is installed the Igwe of Obama. Mm. Oh, yeah. In fact, the Igwe. already the Igwe. Igwe. And as usual, I will continue to support our community. But if you choose Anna in place of a group, Oh well and good. Yeah, I was in the war, yeah. What I want to assure you is that I'm gonna achieve the best of the But I will withdraw all these gifts, and I will make this seat so hot and ungovernable for Anya. Yes. You can see how he has helped you now. Look at him, humble. You see how he served you, and I am guaranteeing that he will continue to serve you like this. When elected the Igwe of Oba. Yeah. That is the promise I make now. <laughs> that is what I'm saying. <laughs> Igwe! Igwe! <laughs> Igwe! Yes. Why did you invite me to? Where else could I have invited you? Next time, don't invite me here. Are you talking to me like that? Say whatever you invited me here for. Let me be on my way. Okay. What did you go to do at Wanko's house? Why didn't you come there to see things for yourself? Well, maybe you were not popular enough, or you were not relevant, or both, is it? Yes. I am surprised. But that small boy, Mwanko, is tossing a dust like you about, as if you're a domestic animal. So you called me here to stop me? Huh? So you are one of the people who went there? To endorse that nonentity, Duru for Igwe. No, 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 no. Look at the way you are talking to me, as if you mistake me for your servant. Do I look like a servant? Is it? So you went to one horse house to be bribed. Tell me, what exactly did he give you that I cannot double when I become the Igwe? Tell me. It's not surprising. Since people like you in the police invented the word bribe 
in the first place. Watch your mouth. Watch your word. Anyway, when next you have anything to discuss with me, look for a neutral ground. If you feel too big to come to my house. What? Is it? Let us come over here. Just called me now. She said that is in the hospital. Which hospital is that? Um, uh, Tim Cows, um, Tim Kalaya, yes. Listen, listen, listen. Don't panic, okay? Don't panic. If you get there and it is serious, okay? Transfer him immediately to St. Nicholas Hospital. Do you hear me? Okay, okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. What about mom? Where is she? Um, she actually went um, to church for the religion of Mary. Oh, sorry, I almost forgot. Well, it's all right. Pull yourself together, okay? God is in control, okay? But don't forget to call me, alright? Okay, I'll do that, I'll do that. Good. Love you, eh? I love you too, love you too. Is it that bad? I've never seen him this bad before. His blood pressure is pretty high. Mm -hmm. Let's transfer him to St. Nicholas. He has refused to be transferred. Why? Please, please, Daddy. 
Right. Yes, Daddy. Promise me. For death is an extension of life. I want to be happy when I get there. Knowing that my loved ones are in capable hands. Daddy, I promise you. I promise you, but you're not going anywhere. You're not going to leave us. You're not going anywhere, Daddy. You're not. Good. Like I said the other day at the graveside, I want all of us to take this tragic loss in our strides. Let us take solace in the fact that after this life, there is another. As far as I know him, he lived a just life, which is quite worthy of emulation. I just hope that we'll all be able to live by the very good examples that he showed us. I have no doubts whatsoever that he rests in the bosom of Abraham, our father in faith, in the presence of the Almighty God. So our only option is to fortify our hearts with that basic truth. Let us pray. Oh, sir. 
Christ, by dying you destroyed our death, by rising you restored our life, you will come again in glory. Father Almighty, once again we commit the soul of our dearly departed brother into thy hands. Grant him eternal rest, Father, and let perpetual light continue to shine on him. May his gentle soul rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
want me to stick to one million naira. <laughs> Your what? Your boy. Look at that. Look at this one. Who are you? What do you think you are? Why are you not there when I use my money to push her on the underground? Oh, you're opening eye for me already. Ah, no. You have to sign for me. Let it not be the case of uh, one of these governors and the Godfather. Ah. You have not been restored. And you are opening your eye for me already. Ah. You have to sign your bed. I hope you have a signature. Is my boy. Hey. Oh. Hey, mami fi. Namu ku. Kado. Oh, de magu nechi bo. By the way, I promised you something. Magu nechi bo. Hey man. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know. Mm. Kai. You know if your husband Maxwell was still alive. Kai. Mm. Um. Kai. Don't see no more trouble. Kai. Anyway, mm. you see, I was actually on my way back to the mm. yeah. And I don't have uh, enough. But what do I do now? Mm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Why don't you send somebody to Lagos? So that I can give you something substantial. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. In meanwhile, let me give you something for Chingon. <laughs> hey, hey. How do you know Chingo is a generous man? <laughs> eh? How do you know Chingo? Yeah. 100,000. Okay. For me? Hey! Oh, Lisa. Oh, Lisa. How do you know? Thanks, sir. 100,000. <laughs> God will bless you abundantly. Amen. You always sweep good things on your way. I know. I know. Yeah. And uh, also give whoever you are sending this money for transport. Okay. transport. Okay. Yeah. Ah, your pocket will never run. Hey, man. You always be good things. Hey. Hey. I'll send Christian. You will send Christian? Yes, Christian, my first son. Ha. Come on. You want to send Christian to come and collect a huge sum of money for you? Yes, Christian is trustworthy. No man, it looks like you people like to take risk in this way. I don't. I am talking of big money, substantial money, money the quantity. Don't you know it can tempt Christian to run away with it? Give me a poor Christian. Oh, Joe. Oh, yes. And moreover, you know you can't trust him. After all, his father was a policeman. And usually, like father like sons. Uh, I'm confused. I don't know what to do again. Do you know? Thank you, Ify. Ify. Oh, yes. Ify is smaller. It's a little girl. Ify might miss her way. Nothing she has never been to Lagos before. Nothing will happen to her. All you need to do is to give her an address she's going to in Lagos. And uh, the money I gave you, nothing will happen to her. Mutu, give me my card now. Yes. Uh -huh. This is my card. That is my address there. Just give you this card and that money that I gave you. Nothing will happen to her. All right. Ah, my in a shiny is equal. In a shiny is equal. Chief, you don't come. <laughs> <bro. laughs> no, we got there. What the guys said? Different, different sizes. Some size eight. So, so we are moving with their left leg. So we are moving with their right leg. Chief, good day, sir. Yes? Chief, I came as your director, Chief. That is why you are sitting down. Without my telling you to do so. Sorry, Chief. Eh? Sorry. Look at this woman. Sorry, Chief. Eh? 
on this poor man. I'm sorry. Later now, you want me to offer you a drink? Uh, no, no, uh, no, no. As if you know that this drink will turn poison once you drink it. I'll send you to the mortuary. Poor man. Is it not me that a poor man like you drink? Hmm? That's when you do not drink me I don't want to drink. So what do you want? You chief, you told me to come. For what? You promised me my children's school fees. My children's school fees? Cut you. What took you? By the way, what do you do for you? I'm a Taiwan Papa. Taiwan Papa. Hmm? How many children do you have? Only seven. Seven and you call it only. You see? Hmm? I can see that you are tapping one with your third leg. Third leg? Look at you. No, Chief. I use my hands. <laughs> third leg is that thing between your two legs. Yes, or four big No fear. You have seven children. How what is their age? Uh, the oldest is 15 years, while the youngest is 2 years. Uh, how many of them are girls? Only one, the youngest. Ha! Sorry for you. You are really in trouble. You are in serious, serious trouble. You know poor men like you pray and hope for men to use their daughter. I give them one. Oh yes. But look at you now. Your own daughter is only two years old. Can't you see that your salvation is very far away? Poor church man. I saw them. Yeah, I want that. I'm not fear. So how many of these your children now do you want me to give you school for? Chief, any amount. Any amount. I mean, as much as you can afford, Chief. As much as you can. When you were jumping up and down your wife in the night, did you invite me? Huh? Now you want me to inherit the product of your own self-destruction. Mm. Shut up! Uh. To give this man 2,000. By the way, but tell me, what do you think of me? I can't understand you. you you understand? What are people talking about me? How do they see me? They see you as the Messiah. Even the little children. Aguna Chibo Messiah. Aguna Chibo Messiah. Aguna Chibo Messiah. Do it. Do it. Do it. To give this man 50,000 let him die. Yes, I'm going to Chibo. Yes, I'm going to Chibo. Yes, yes. If you want, have some more children. Chief. Chief, thank you. <laughs> Chief, thank you. <laughs> feel it, feel it, feel it. 50,000. 50,000. Hey! Chief, thank you. Thank you, Chief. Hey! 50,000. Thank you, Chief. Hey! 50,000. Hey! Chief, thank you. Hey! Hey! Ah! I'm going to achieve a Messiah. Thank you. I'm going to achieve a Messiah. You are trying to have hey. a good job. Poor church rat. I'm going to achieve a Messiah. I'm going to achieve a government. Do it, do it, do it. On my tuna plate, I'm going to achieve a Messiah. Chai! Well, sit down. Thank you. Oh, good. Wow. So, how are you? 
Alright. So how is Rose and Jenny? Oh, they're just doing wonderfully well. That's good. I came around to see how you're doing. As you can see, I am coping. <laughs> I can see. Do I get you something to drink or eat? No, that would be necessary. Are you sure? Thank you very much. You're welcome. You see, um, Rose and I have been particularly worried for you. You know, since Daddy's death, we felt you'll be feeling somewhat lonely. And uh, it'd be nice to get you a house help to help out with the house chores and some duties in and around the house. That is very thoughtful of you people. Lonely? Yes, I guess so. Sometimes I feel lonely. But you remember, when Daddy was around, he used to do a lot of traveling, going on tours and everything. And I guess then I was practicing staying alone. So, you know, I, I'm coping. Or the condition that you get something that is worth all the strong. You can bet on that, okay? We'll certainly get you one that you like. After all, we know the kind of lifestyle you, you live. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It's all right. I'm sure Rose will be happy if I tell her. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. All right, Mommy, I have to run along. Already? Yes. <laughs> because if I don't, Jenny will um, start asking questions. Jenny is already asking questions? You don't know the kind of granddaughter you have. Oh my god, she reminds me of Bruce. That was how she is when she was young. <laughs> okay. All right, okay. It's okay, I'll see you all. Well. Okay. I have his work. What's that? Hello. Tell Bruce to come and visit me. Yeah, sure. So you mean you'll be traveling tomorrow? Oh yes. That is why I came for the prayers. You know my business is all over the world. <laughs> and I have to travel extensively. Yes, and that is why we need these prayers, you know. Oh, yes, certainly. You know God is with you. Amen. You must conduct your business according to his ways. That is true. It's true. Um, Father, I have a little gift for you back there. Because of the presence of those parishioners. I decided to give it to you here. <laughs> Just a little token. One million naira? Boy! <laughs> uh, it's just a little token, you know. You can use it for innovation work. You can even use it to buy musical equipment for the youth. Or even to take care of this your body. You know you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Well, you know I'm new here, so uh, everything appears in order. So I don't think I'll be losing such a so. uh, Keep it till you need it. You never can tell, you know. <laughs> well, if you insist, eh? I insist. Uh, so the prayers. Okay. In Paris, it feels, it spirit is empty. Amen. Can you know? Thank you, Father. <laughs>
Hello, sweetie. Oh, oh, how are you? We bought some blessing. Good. How was the lesson today? Fine. Good. 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 So tell me, what did your teacher teach you in lesson today? English. Language. Okay. Um, I want you to make a sentence with apple for daddy. This is my apple. This is your apple. <laughs> Look at you. It's good. What? Let me see that. Sure. Have you been giving her vitamin C? Yes, I have. I just tried to have it. Okay. Alright, so that you will go back to your room, hmm? change your clothes, and daddy will come and meet you there, okay? Okay. Come back. Hey, and don't forget to change your clothes, okay? Yes, daddy. Good girl. 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 Good it will take only the intervention of God to save your husband from complete ruin and total disgrace. Honey, honey, tell me, what really happened? You can't believe it. Right under my nose, a fraud of 20 million naira was successfully perpetrated. What? I mean, how did it happen? Nobody knows yet. You know, the bank computer is in line. As for now, I've been suspended. While the analysis go on, and in 48 hours, Investigation will begin. Why me? Eh? Why me? Yes, I'm honey. Have you contacted Mr. Iwuchuku? I did. But he didn't sound friendly at all. That I can understand, you know, since my mentor, your father, is no more. This can't be true. Yes, it was a 20 million naira fraud. How the fraud was perpetrated, I do not have the slightest idea about it. Whoever it was that perpetrated this fraud, Fred Igwe doesn't know. But everything was heaped upon me. How? How did that happen? But with the computers. You see, the ultimate bank where I work depends solely on the computers. <laughs> Though you know, the computer is like garbage in, garbage out. Alright? And whatever the computer says is seen as a gospel. So, the computer said that the fraud originated from my office, right from my own computer system. So what do you want to do? Jesus Christ. So, what? Do, do you think you have an enemy within the system? You know these days, enemies go in on trees everywhere. Nepal no more. Nepal no okono. Okono oburu. Eh? Who ever sold that seed? It will never germinate for that person in Jesus Imagine me paying back money and steal, money I didn't see, talk more of torture. God will not allow it. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to see one of the directors of your bank. We need to trash this thing out. Now, if this nut is too hard to crack, I think we'll have to get him a lawyer to handle this case. All prayers, so I've been all prayers. Ever since. Eh? God, are you still around? Where are you? A baby, no, no, God is always around. And he listens. He surely does. Hey!
Just come on, baby. Don't cry. It's okay. Don't cry. Please don't cry. Mama, why have you never paid up all so needlessly? Mama, who didn't want to? Why? It's okay. Everything mm. is going to be alright. No, no, no. When? When? For as long as the Lord allows it. You know this thing your husband is going through? If your father were still alive, it would not happen. Eh? Mama, this is why I asked the question. Why is the devil making us go through all this now? It's Mama, okay. why? It's, 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 How many times will you worry me? How many times? Your mother-in-law was here? I mean, didn't she deliver my message? She did, sir. Um, sir, what I am asking for is that an extra thorough investigation be employed in this matter. See, I'm not too comfortable with this question of computers being used. Can we please employ human intelligence? Did I hear you say human? Yes, sir, uh, human intelligence. <laughs> Who has time for that? So, what we're talking about here is 20 million. Fred, I don't own this bank. And do you know it? The owners have their rules, regulations, and I follow them. Right now, the onus is in the capital letters that you return the money. Oh! Now, Fred, let's be more explicit about this. I employed you, based on my knowledge of Mr. Oti, his impeccable nature suggested he can only recommend somebody of good behavior. Believe me, sir. Then how come 20 million naira disappeared from your branch? 18 months after you took over? Believe me, sir. I know nothing about it. It's not just about believing you. You read banking, didn't you? Yes, I did, sir. Good. Is there any word like trust in issues concerning money? Is there? Tell me. So how do you want this to be different? Read this. Jesus Christ, when you ride a tiger, you can never dismount. As you must have read, my own job is hanging on the balance because of your sins. So believe me, I am innocent. Fred. Many kiss the hand they wish to cut off. It's not my own making. It's from the head office. So, you better brace up to it. Jesus Christ. What have I done to deserve this? I go me I jump on you. Oh, baby, I go to you. It's only in the city, in I'm going to achieve all of them. Do it, do it, do it. I'm going to achieve all of them. This is it. She finally came. Mm. That's how I'm going to achieve. Who are you? Hi, I'm on the track. Please sit down. Hmm?
I want to sleep, sir. <sighs> what is stopping you? Why will I sleep? <laughs> yeah, of course. Is that not true? Of course not. Hmm? I told you I was a generous man. Hmm? And I'm willing to share my bed with you. <laughs> if your wife comes back and gets me here. Yeah, so that is why you are worrying. Mm, if you... <laughs> Don't worry. Why have I got over to see? If you... I can't do it. Why now? Mm, if you want. Mm? Why? Sir, I... Or do you want to go back to the village? Or do you want to go back without the 50,000 I promised your mommy? I want. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know that if you treat me well, eh? I can even give you 100,000. 100,000? Ah. Hey. <laughs> if you service me properly, I can even give you 200,000. Are you serious? This is you. You'll be very good in business, so <laughs> that is if you try. <laughs> Clothes. You know they are not good now. <laughs> and wear something, you know, kinky. <laughs> then it just be a cherry come up. If him. Hi! No, not again. If he. My God, no. Hi! Only I'm coming. Hey, Oh, man, I'm done. Hi! This is life. <laughs> Who says heaven and hell are not here on earth? Eh? What other kind of heaven? By the time I finish riding this succulent west, <laughs> Ooh. I'm sorry, I was very busy upstairs. I have never met you people before, have I? Yes, madam. We are from Seaway Mortgage Bank. We have come to see your husband, as a matter of fact. I'm afraid my husband is late. Sorry. I'll take to our condo and come Well, madam, <coughs> your husband put hand some paper for one of our clients who collected a loan from our bank. The man, Mr. John Ubu, had no collateral, so he brought a husband to pledge collateral for him, in the sense that your husband was our main customer and a shareholder indeed. Again, your husband also agreed to pay the 40 million naira loan he collected if he refuses or fails to pay the money in due time. Who are you people? And where are you from? Now you better get out of here before I call the police. Calm down, madam. We are not swindlers, but we have been swindled. You mm -hmm. my husband stood in as a shorty for somebody and pledged some collateral for a loan he did not take? Yeah, madam. This house, two of his chips, plus 20 million naira in cash. That was how it was written and agreed upon. See your papers? You don't know. Well, madam, Mr. John Ugu was a husband's close friend and a business partner indeed. I think that is why your husband helped him to get the loan from the bank. But the most annoying part of it is this. For the past 11 months, 11 good months, we have been scanning around the whole metropolis looking for this so-called John Wu to no avail with all the addresses he put on paper before collecting the loan. Um, the information reaching us says that he had run out of the country. Oh my God. Well, madam, I will want you to know that since your husband is no more and Mr. John Wu is nowhere to be found, you are the next person to pay the money, 40 million naira, because our time has elapsed. It's a bit too much for me to comprehend. Please. We are 
Professor Romero, as you can see, we are all doing our job. You have between now and next month to pay up, or we confiscate your belongings. Here is the own copy of the document, madam. We are looking forward to your positive response. Good day, madam. Bye, madam. some of the jeeps and sell some of my husband's plots of lands to be able to pay back this 40 million naira debt. First. Mommy, whichever way you look at it, the bottom line is going to jail. Mm. I will go to jail. Since I'm a younger and much stronger person, I would suggest you sell off all the jeeps sell the plots of land, pay your own 40 million. And then I'll leave mine. I'll leave mine in the hands of God. Oh, God is in charge of all the two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that? Yes. Everything. The house. The cars. And the job too. Why? Did you find you responsible? No. But whatever it was, the swindle the bag must be a very smart cook. He left no clues. Even with me being in charge. Ain't you know one thing about banking. The word must be spelled from C. So what are we going to do? We have to vacate this place. Sell the house. Sell the cars. And you see the balance that will be left. Oh God. Oh God. Why now that that is not here to intervene? It never rains. Jacob and Abraham, why have thou forsaken thy servants?
Fred and Rosie, God's world was not meant to be a smooth ride through the aisle. It is full of ups and downs. And the devil will come in to try to create diversion. What you are facing now is a temptation that will surely come to pass. If you strengthen your belief and your trust in the Creator. Father, I'd like to ask you a question. Is it a crime for want of conscientious knowledge? No. Then how come one is made to pay the price of another? Because the devil will tempt you when you pay so much attention to God. He, he will try to come between you and God to try to lure you away. You, you, you know that. And, and, and these are dangerous times that we are in. We must strive to disregard the devil's antics. Shun his, his charms while remaining steadfast in our worship and our praise of God Almighty. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much, Father. Thank you. We must pray without ceasing. The devil is not resting, so we must not rest. And God shall surely give us victory. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. This is the work of the devil. Shame that devil. Shame the destructive one for remembering my son after several years of toil, hard work, and dedication to God Almighty. Now this thing is happening now. That's a sense of life, ups and downs. Well, Mama, I've been able to sell the house for 10 million now, which I have already given to the bank. And I'm believing God to realize about 2.5 million from the sale of the cars. That leaves me with 7.5 million to pay off. 7.5? Where will you get that from? Mama, Father Reginald told me to trust in God. And I'm obeying him. Well, we're going to leave you there. I've already spoken with this morning and she has accepted you know to accommodate us until I'm able to sort out things. Why mama? I have to go to the village. I'll stay in the village and I'll pray for you from there. Ah, mama listen I appreciate your prayers but I think I will appreciate the prayers more if you were close to me. You can't withstand the burden. My son you will not understand the burden or the pressure of three women in your life and this present situation. Mama, fortunately, the three women involved are very understanding people. Women are not that understanding in difficult situations. They are not. Mama, you come, okay? I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind. going to beg me? How many times? You are owing three years rent in this house and you're here begging me. I know, please. I know, my lawyer, please. Now listen, okay, let me ask you a question. Have you taken a look around this vicinity? Have you? Other residents pay as high as 150,000 naira a year. But my Aga has been humane and magnanimous enough 
to charge as low as 20,000 naira per annum. Yet you can't pay. You can't even waste 20,000 naira. And yet you want to hold on to a flat in this house. Is that the way it's done? You had better start preparing. To pack out? Or you will be thrown out? Oh, please. Please, Oga okay, lawyer, don't throw me out. I'm on my knee. Please, just look at me. I'm married. And besides, I lost my job. You make me laugh, okay? You've been owing for three years. And you cannot pay. How do you hope to raise 20,000 naira in a month? Hmm? Now listen to me, my friend. You either pay up or you get thrown out. Do you understand that? Hmm? Please. 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 Chief, I came on account of that man. He has started again. Who? Your tenant, okay. Oh, him the same man? Yes, Chief. <laughs> Chief, can you believe that this man has refused to pay? He's been owing for the past three years. <laughs> and this guy's not taking Chief. I am going to eject him from that house. As a matter of fact, Chief, I intend to start a legal process against him immediately. Charles, you will do no such Chief, but why? Because I could not Chief is a generous man. I'm a philanthropist. I have pity on some of them who do not have money. Eh? So if the man does not pay you for five years, let him be, Charlie. Let him be. Chief, five years. And that is how it is going to be. Chief, after charging 20,000 naira a year, while other resident landlords charge 150,000 naira a year, you still want that man to stay. Is it your father's house? The property belongs to me. That house is my own. Of course. Of course, it's yours. Charles, I'm warning you. Let that man be. If you make him leave that house, I will deal with you mercilessly. Ah, and the other vacant flats, you better get people to take them over. Yes. Why doesn't these lawyers have mercy? Eh? Why don't you have pity for a fellow human being? Please go. I can't let you entertain myself. This is not my office. Okay, okay Chief. Um, you say so. This man, I'm an angry and broke no lamb. What does he do? Nah, what can I do? He just like it good. I think he's doing it with all my power. All my power. Bawal. What happened? I'm the new bro. You mean you sold him? One time. I open an account there with the minimum plus one million naira. Huh? Why? And exactly three weeks. Three weeks. Twenty million crept in from other branches of the bank. You mean You mean twenty good million in three weeks? What? Three weeks. Who put one year money left? Who back up for the cover? Why? Even the house of Yes! As long as this earth remains, so in time, I will start supporting you. No more money, Joe, for no money, Billy. I can make a job for the game of Pogo. Bano, it's not done. I'm not a good man, Saka. Do you know I imported one container? And the other 20 containers of same items. 
landed overnight in my warehouse. Power! Oh, Pakano! You know I have 20 buildings here. Yes, now. I immediately charge 10% of the real value of the application. And every day those idiots labor for about one time. I remember. Open! This is a paradise. Look at the open. You can't do better. You can't do better. The best of food, the best of wine, the best of house, the best of cars. Eh? If I open my eye and see that I'm in heaven, then you know that God is bad, Pasha. <laughs> Even you. If you go to heaven, God is Pasha. This is our paradise. So that is it, oh my brother. You mean already paying 50 million naira? Yes. What? You be more. What did you call me? Don't you know that whether you paid or not, the same fate awaits you? Okay, so what else do you expect me to do? Look, I embezzled 50 million naira, but I'm not going to pay a dime. 50 million naira? And you're not going to pay a dime? Yes. Well, that makes the difference between both of us. I am not a thief, and I didn't take it. Come on, a penny I didn't take. You tell that to the FCC. That was how my world crumbled in just one day. Hey, Who could have fooled you? Only one God knows. So, how much? Well, 20 million dollars you bought. So I started paying 15 million. I had to withdraw all my life savings. It amounted to 12.5 million. And then two of my very good customers raised 2.5 million. Bring it up to 15 million. But why didn't you let me know? Why didn't you let me know? It was after Mama came to the house that she now told me of all those things. Everything happened in a flash. And you were able to raise 15 million. Somehow, God, God helped me. Don't. My husband and I have raised 1 million for you. Chica, that's so generous of you and your husband. Afora, you know you're my only brother. I can do anything for you. Eh? I don't know since all these days. But why did they still arrest you when you've paid up to up to 15 million naira? 75 percent is more than enough intent to pay, or is it not in your dictionary? My dear, nothing of such is in your dictionary. Nothing, especially when EFCC is involved. Hey, my God. Okay, okay. You know what? I think I have to go to the EFCC or the bank to pay the one million. Then rally around. I mean, I cannot sleep while you're in here. I cannot. No. Why? Don't pay when you die. Okay? Don't. Listen. It will take just five million now to bring me out of this place. Save that money. There are better things to do with the money. Are you out of your mind? Perhaps. I've already spent months here. And I've got you used to staying here. Stop that, Fred. Stop that. Save the money for my family. Use that money. Take care of my family. You see, my wife is six months pregnant. Jenny will soon be thrown out of school for her inability to pay her school fees. My mother in law has the street of everything she has. And you know, Mama is back at home. Please, save that money. Use the boys to take care of them, please. 
You prefer staying here. You prefer staying here. I have resolved not to pay them any time uh, for money I did not take in the first place. Okay? It was the fear of bringing me here that even made me pay the 15 million now. And since it is like this, I am willing and ready to stay here for another two years. Because I know it is only my stay here that will prove my innocence. Fred, you are mad. Have you forgotten that this is Nigeria? Where nobody prays to stay in detention. If anything can happen at any time. Especially now that the country is very, very unstable. All I beg of you is use the money, take care of my family.
God has abandoned me. He has abandoned me. He hasn't. Then where is my husband? Uh, Rosie, how many times will I tell you? Joseph was in what was seven years in Pharaoh's prison. Father, my husband is not Joseph. Neither is the EFCC Pharaoh. How do you know? Now, how would you know God's handwriting when you see it? Father, I... Rosie, I... Rosie, Rosie, don't lose faith. Hmm? Be prayerful always. Let us say a short prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I help us in the name of the Lord, and of heaven and earth. every day.
the man in question has his cash. And we are talking about your future. You're sweet girls now. If you reject it, you've rejected your future. You can't reject sugar in your mouth. It is your future. If you reject it, you reject your future. I, I mean, what are we talking about? But as soon as I take you there, you must. My commission. Yes, Don't joke with that. You get my point. <laughs> Man! Are you joking with me? Aguna Chibo. It's Aguna Chibo that's on the line. Aguna Chibo Ndo. Aguna Chibo Do. Aguna Chibo Ngibo Government. I am standing up for you, Aguna Chibo. And everybody here is standing up for you, sir. What are you waiting for now? No, no, Aguna Chibo, I will soon be there. I am just uh, 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 feeding the flock, Aguna Chibo. Okay, but don't uh, feed them all night. Huh? There are other things to do with the time. There's no problem at all. Aguna Chibo do. Aguna Chibo buru buru. <laughs> yes, sir. You see? <laughs> the door is open. Mm. But, but please. Mm. Ah. Efe. Efe. Hey, stop. Stop! Is this not my wife? I miss you. Earth. What is the problem? Aren't you happy seeing me? Am I supposed to be seeing you? Huh? Of course, I mean, it's six months we saw last. So when did six months become one year? Huh? Am I seeing you? All right, I have decided to greet you. I stay one month here and go back. You are mad. You are very, very mad. Huh? Honey. I paid for your holiday expenses for one calendar year. One year. That means 12 months. Honey, it's just that I miss you. Listen, Efe. You better get into this vehicle and go back to where you are coming from. Go back to the airport. Do you understand? When next you try this your madness with me, I will serve you up under the app with divorce you. Foolish woman. What? What have I done wrong? Eh. So taking major decisions now without consulting me is not wrong enough. Honey, I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. Fine. But I will accept that when I hear your voice from Germany. Go back to where you are coming from, woman! Honey, but I don't have the ticket to fly back. Not to worry. I will call my agent. She will meet you at the airport with a confirmed Lufthansa ticket. Go back to where you are coming from. Go back! Look, I mean every word I tell you. Honey, you can't do this to me. I said go back to... Okay. Hey. It's almost two years now since your husband has been in detention. Don't you think it's about time you got yourself something doing? Mama, Fred will not let me. He will not let me. That was then. Mama, even now. You don't have to tell him. Come on, Rose. You cannot continue living off his sister. It's not fair. And now Junior is here. The responsibility is increasing by the day. Eh? Junior is almost two years old, right? Yes, Mama. Oh, come on. You just have to brace up and get yourself a job. Mama, I've been thinking of it. I've actually been thinking of it. But Fred will not let me. He doesn't even want to hear anything about it. Did you just hear what I said? You don't have to let him know.
Inside my luggage. Alright? And my luggage is not arrived yet. So as soon as it comes back, you're gonna have everything that he bought for you, alright? Good. Daddy. Mm -hmm. I wanted to buy from school yesterday. You did? The price! Oh, that's my girl. Come to the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go eat your food, okay? <laughs> So how's the best feeling? I feel missed you. Missed you too? Mm. So tell me, how have you been coping? Well, well, thank God. Um, I never really happened. But there's a long story, okay? Very long story. But I'm gonna make it very brief. I was arraigned at the EFCC court this morning. Okay. Where the director ordered for my immediate release. Oh, thank God. After paying 15 million now. Oh. oh yeah. I said my God does not sleep. Exactly. Oh thank you God. My God does not sleep. I said not sleep. The director even told me that my case with the bank is closed. 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 Finally closed. Finally, finally closed. Oh, thank you Jesus. Thank you, thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Oh! But something really amazes me. What? Um, you've been detained for about two years now. You don't look it. <laughs> <laughs> Your love has kept me going. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know what? Each time I remember I have an angel like you back home, mm -hmm. it keeps me in a tough, excellent shape. Oh, yes. I love you. Um, I have a confession to make. A confession? Yes, a confession. Don't tell me you. I mean, not that. Not that. You don't think like that. Um, I was actually discussing with you my mother and the prospect of getting a job before you walked in. A job? Yes, a job. Okay, okay. Now I'm back. Alright? No job. Oh, no. But I need a job. I know you need a job. But I said no job. I mean, even if your sister would have died of hunger in this house. That's why she's my sister. She did what she had to do. But now that I'm back, those days are over. Okay. I'm gonna leave for the village in two days' time. All right, to see my mom. On my way, I'm gonna stop by in nature to see how the husband. Thank them for everything they did for us. As soon as I get back, I'm gonna find me a job. So I'll be able to like run the family the way I ought to run the family. But the most important thing is, Junior is here. Junior is enough work for you. Okay? No work. Honey, but I need a job. I said no work, sweetheart. I really need a job. No work. Assuming my responsibilities while I was in detention. Oh, come on. It was also my responsibility. I know, but... Oh, please. Do you remember what my husband told you? You are the son we never had. Yes, I know. But I'm really very appreciative. Thank you very much. Well, I'm glad to hear that. But I'll tell you something. If the opportunity ever comes again, 
for me to look after your family the way I did, I will do it all over again. I mean, these things, it's, it just hurts because I know that if my husband were still alive, I mean, nobody would have detained you. Thank you very much. I'll be traveling to the village tomorrow to see my mom. On my return, I'll start looking for a job all over again. Good thinking. Good thinking. Well, it's good to have you home. Thank you, Mommy. Don't say a thing like this. Is it my boss? There's something I want you to understand. Alright? The banking industry is a small world. And once fraud is involved, whoever that is involved in that fraud is branded a taboo. But you are not guilty. Yes. I know that. You know that as well. But the banks out there, do they know? Of course not. I think I'm through with searching for a job in the bank. Finished. So, what are we going to do about it? I think it's time to look someplace else. Maybe the private sector. Is that going to be easy? You never can say until you give it a try. Fred. Yes, dear. I studied the banking. So why can't I go for the bank job instead? So that are you forgetting you're my wife? And that you'll be treated with the same scorn as if we're partners in crime? Can't you understand that? Only thing. Honey, but we don't share the same scorn. Mm -hmm. Then I can completely, you know? Because of what would happen that you want to deny me as your husband? Huh? Rose, you want to deny me as your husband? My incarceration and joblessness has gotten you to thinking you can deny me as your husband, isn't it? Honey, don't talk like this. How else you want me to talk? How else? Oh, Rose, I am now a stigma, isn't it? A stigma. How am I sure you don't even think I committed that crime? Fred! Oh, just shut up! Don't you fret me. Don't you fret me. Thank you very much for your loss of confidence. Fred! Honey! Honey, Fred! 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 Suggested that you know instead. You said what? That you 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 were willing to deny me as your husband, huh? Me, Fred, as your husband? Wait, wait a minute. Let me ask you something. Who ever told you the bank staff are not investigated? And please, just forget it. It's all a mistake. It's all a mistake. A mistake? 
a mistake. You call it a mistake. Hmm? Everything has been a mistake. My living in your family house is a mistake. My kids being here, a mistake. My eating in your family house, a mistake. My getting your mother involved in everything I do, a mistake. And the worst mistake will be when your mother, and I can see it, will soon come to tell me when to make love to you. Fred, Fred, Fred. Huh? Yes. Don't you fret me. Don't you fret me. Okay? And I won't rest until I get a job. Okay? Fred, Fred, just... So I will not rest until I get a job. Your people are now seeing me as a man who cannot take care of his responsibilities anymore. Please stop it! Stop it now! Shut up! Oh. Don't you tell me to stop it. That's the way your people now see no, me. No, no, no. I can't take all my responsibilities, isn't no, it? No, friend. No, it's not true. Stay away from me. I can't move for because of you. Stay away from me. Honey, honey, no, honey, please, no. I can't do this now. Honey, please. Be where we'll be looking like this. Fred, why always pick on me? Aren't you being unfair? I mean, what have I done wrong by trying to help my dear husband solve out the problem of unjust incarceration and the stigma dear after? But I think you don't know what to do. Oh, you tell me, what else do I do? Just try shut it up for once. And when you do, it enables me to think. And when I think, I arrive at something. All right? And when that happens, I quit this mess before I go crazy. Fred. Fred! Oh. Father Reggie. Ah, Frederick. You're here. Yeah. Welcome. I'm sure you're here to see mommy. Unfortunately, she's not home. Actually, I came to see you. See me? Yes. Well, come on, let's go inside. Okay. And uh, how is your wife? Oh, she's fine. Right. For the past uh, two weeks now, I've noticed your absence at morning mass. Only your wife attends these days. Father, I'm human. <laughs> Who is disputing that? Father, it's been 14 months now since I left detention. I've been everywhere in search of a job. All to no avail. It has become frustrating. Aha! Uh -huh. That is the word that the devil has been waiting to hear. Frustration. When he hears that word, he steps in. Father, I have been marked. The bangs won't touch me. They have virtually sent my name to all the companies. I have a family. I live in my in-law's house. My mother's health is deteriorating every day back in the village. My kids are still schooling because of my sister's generosity. Tell me, Father, 
For how long will this continue? For how long will it go on? How long? Fred, God has a purpose for everything. Oh, Father, whatever purpose God has for me, it's been overdelayed. Fred, please do not let the devil germinate in you. Take a look at the angel you have for a wife. Take a look at her. I believe that the hand of God is upon her life. And that hand of God in her life will lead you into the light again. Father, let me ask you something. Do you know what it means for your kids to ask you for ice cream? And you keep promising them tomorrow that never comes? Father, please talk to him. He has been wallowing in self-pity of late. Look at this way, Father. 18 months in detention, Father. 14 months in search of a job. Gives us 32 months. Four more months. It will be three good years of incarceration and joblessness. I have been living off my own law that is a pensioner. Depleting my own sister's account. Father, for how long will a man go on with this temptation? Fred, the devil's boots do not creak when he walks. And most times, he hides behind the cross. Please, Fred, please. Do not let the devil find you a willing ally. Who is Mr. Frederick? Jamie wants to see you personally. Did you see personally? Yes. Huh? But he doesn't know. Well, that's what he said. I don't know the game, please. Huh? If you don't mind, okay? I'm very sorry to have bothered you. Let me go. Why? Come on. He only wants to see you. That's all. I'm saying I want to go, but there's no need. Let me go. I'm afraid, Mr. Igwe. When my boss invites any interest, his wishes are being carried to the last lesson. You better get in there and see him willingly, or I get you carried in. Ah. Is it by force? I said I don't want to go. I don't. Want to, I'm sorry, I don't want to. I know I'm going in. Are you going in or do I force him? Diga.
for the boat ride. Beautiful boat. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, but you know, I still can't uh, believe you own that big company that strikes me like uh, a multinational. <laughs> well, I do. And I tell you, I have toiled night and day to get to where I am today. Of course, who wouldn't toil night and day <laughs> to get to your level? <laughs> Everybody will. <laughs> so tell me, yes. what happened to you? My brother, it is a long story. Too long for my listening ears? <laughs> you know how it is now, your level has changed. I don't know if you still have the patience. <laughs> to I don't listen. forget my past. <laughs> You're still my past. I don't forget my past. <laughs> well, I'm not whatever I See what I told you 10 years ago when we were graduating? The standing order. You'll have to get rich. I told you I never wanted to work for somebody else. Now you got a job in a bank and they messed you up. Yes, you know, but you know, uh, things were really working out very well. Until that mysterious fraud. Mysterious fraud or not, nobody can sack me from my office. Let alone put me behind bars. You see, Fred, as long as if I didn't love the banking profession. But I had my future mapped out. I knew what I wanted. And I followed it. And I'm happy I told that line. Well, that's good. I really envy your courage, you know. But see, there are times, you know, we find ourselves on the wrong side of life due to this element called luck. Now, Fred, the harder you walk, the luckier you get. I know. But no matter how you look at it, courage, skill, and hard work amounts to nothing without luck. <laughs> look, Fred, whoever told you that luck has a part to play in a bold, courageous man's life to decide his destiny was telling his head off. It was all lies. Anyway, let's not get into that. You truly wanted to work with me? I'd love to if you if you give me the opportunity. You got a job. Ocha, I do? Mm -hmm. You can never begin to imagine the kind of body you let off my shoulders. It it is okay. Go ahead, Adi. Sweetheart! Sweetie, where are you? Hello? Hello? Hi, hi. Hello? Hello, Hello sweetie. Oh, 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 please. Please. Come on, All right. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Guess what? Just grass. Honey, I want you to guess for once. I'm not good at guesses, I know it. I'm in love with me now. Honey, guess! I just want you to Mommy, eh? will, you, will you want to help her? No, uh, you people are guessing, you know, it's not bad. I don't know if you guess, I don't know. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Do you remember my friend Norbert? Back in the university? Norbert. Oh! Norbert, who can you go? That's it. I met him today. You met Norbert today? Mm -hmm. I met Norbert Ukiwe today. <laughs> Norbert is big. Big. Norbert is made money. Norbert of yesterday. Too much money. <laughs> Norbert is a multi billion. <laughs> Norbert! Norbert offered me a job. Hey! A job! Congratulations! <laughs> Job. He offered me a job as his personal assistant to start work tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy! Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
I'll make back to you. Just look at this old problem. Total anomaly of teaching. You are okay. I'll be a chicken. Exactly my own opinion to Shut up! I don't know who will bring my own opinion. I thought she was even model for Mrs. Universe. Hey! Well, are you telling me you're living in your mother-in-law's apartment? A widow at that? He's been virtually taking care of uh, me and my family for the little that is left of what one first started falling off until she got liquidated. You know one funny thing about money and poverty. Both comes mean on the wrong guy. I know you were back in school. You were a very practical guy. You taught me everything I needed to know. You practically made me a graduate. Well, thanks. You know, life is not like No, but we can recreate our destiny. Yeah. Well, I'm happy I was at the office last week last week when you turned in your application. One thing I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to help you come up in scale once more. Whatever you do when you're up there is entirely your business. I'm listening. No, um, don't ever call me sir. Don't call me back out, we used to say in school, you know. Or if you want the social cycle, call me Ochiara. Ochiara, you go. Ochiara, you're right. Okay. I have accommodation for you already. It's a good place. You do? And you got a car to go with it. Your status has to change from tomorrow. You're going to be my personal assistant, but I must warn you. It's a job that comes with a big responsibility. One that will keep you on your feet 24 hours, day and night. Okay, I'm ready to work 24 hours, seven days of the week. I am ready. What have I done? Mama, why are you talking like that? What do you mean? How old are you? Oh, that again. Much. <laughs> that my girl is okay. You know that you need a wife. Huh? Okay, tell me. How do you enjoy life? With all your billions, without a wife and children. Mama. Hey, no. Mama is right. She's very, very right. Tell me, what are you waiting for? People are saying all sorts of things. Like what? Um, like you belong to a society that forbids you from marrying. <laughs> well, people will say all sorts of things about you when you're successful. Mama. People don't talk about you unless you're important. Your son is important and relevant. Whatever people say is a matter. Exactly. But that doesn't stop you from marrying. It doesn't. We were all here, Mama, when Felicia died. But that was so many years ago. That was so many years ago. To me, it's like yesterday. You can't know your first wife forever. People lose their wives and marry another. I'm certain if you had died instead of Felicia, she would have since remarried. The trauma of losing Felicia and the psychological setback is not what I want to face in a hurry. Imagine my boy, you must make everything possible to get her behind you. You must. Mama, I think I know why brother is worried. You know, Auntie Felicia was so pretty when she was alive. Maybe he has not found someone as pretty as she was. 
I'm good. There are so many beautiful women out there. Where? Brother, everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, okay. Look for one. Maybe. Just maybe. I'll reconsider. What about that? Um, that is next to me. Evening, how are you? Thanks. <clears throat> that is me. She just finished her research. She's UK's friend from her mom. Mary, how do you do? Mary, not what my son. I've been telling her about. It's a pleasure, sir. Hmm. You've been telling her about me? Yes. <laughs> Can't you take me that time? The mail. What has my mother been telling you about me? She has told me so many good things about you. A good man, a wonderful man, a nice man, a loving, a caring, so many good things. And the bad things? I don't remember any bad things you told me about you. Seem to like me. Nancy. See, he's my brother. Mommy, he's too loud. Don't you see the look on his face? Come on. Forget the look on his face. Let's walk towards the mic first. Cheer up. <laughs> Just relax. I'll be with you soon, okay? You 
if you're not close to the name of that. What? That will break it downstairs. Mbeke. <laughs> it's not fun. But it is. For your information, Nancy is a graduate. Graduate of Mbeke College of Education. Oh, well, she's a straight parcel from Mama. And Eliza pastored her with recommendation as long as Nigerian Constitution. And then, um, brother, with the little I've seen in Nancy, there is no better housewife elsewhere. Mom. You just have to take a good look at Nancy. Take a very deep look at her. Exactly what you said about the other girl. What's her name? Um, Mary. Before then, there was Uche, Nkechi, and a host of others. Is that not the opinion Mama shares? What opinion? That you have bloodly refused everyone. Tall, short, dark, fair, average, pretty, and because so on. I am not just interested in remarrying. Why? You won't understand. There is nothing here to understand. See, Mama said I must not come back with, um, with Nancy. And I'm going to be a ship to that command. Now listen, go and tell Mama the forum. Mother, you know go work, you know go just work, Sam Sam. Eh? See, Mama is ready to bring Nancy herself if you refuse to agree to her terms. Why not give this Nancy a trial and save this daily pressure? If she is as timid as she looks, then she'll be exactly the right person to withstand the burden. Brother. Yes, ma'am. You, you said she is homely? In fact, I have never seen anyone like her. Let's give her a try. Oh, God, thank you. But I'm happy. Oh. Ask her, ask her to stay around. Let me see what she's going to do. Like. And don't expect me to tomorrow. I'm going to achieve. 
<laughs> um, <clears throat> organized. Look at it. Um, I have some noodles, mm. but they are coming in from Petapa next week. Where? Next week. Too. Okay. Next week. Huh? Yeah. Next week. 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 Next so whatever title you wish, whatever title, it's yours. <laughs> Whether it be a Igwe Kala or a Laki Igwe, whatever, you have it. I will achieve it. I will achieve it. I intend to take over the Igwe ship. This is what I want to do. So that my name can be a Matala. You have plans. <laughs> and you, you, you. I'm going to make you number five. <laughs> Now that register. Promise to be an apostle of Opaka. Abide by the rules. Abide by the rules. Sow and reap. Sow and reap. Kill or be killed. Kill or be killed. Sacrifice or be sacrificed. Sacrifice or to be sacrificed. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. It is better to live one year of affluence than to live a hundred years of misery. You may now drink the blood of wealth. is given, much more is expected. When a child washes clean his hands, he can now dine and wine with the kings and the lords. You may now take your rightful position. Thank you, God.
Reception of word. Are you asking me about because of this misery food that should never be allowed to marry? Will you shut up your mother for? Fred is my new personal assistant. We've got some business to talk about. So you go to the reception and wait. With such good aids, you say you bankrupt. Reginald will notice your absence. Please, I can't make it. What? I just got back. And you expect me to rush off again? You expect me to make it? Besides, I, have, I, I, I ought to be in the office for 8 o'clock. Please. But honey, that shouldn't stop you from attending morning mass now. It shouldn't stop you. I said no now. I can't go. Uh, are you forgetting that today is not Sunday? Eh? Morning mass is not compulsory now. Please.
So girls, are we all happy? Like this. I thought you said you were going for a wedding party. I can go to wherever the bazaar includes you. I'm your wife. I'm supposed to go with you. Now get outside and remove this your canopy. Um, honestly, Linda, I think you're hiding something from me. <laughs> what? Because you still not told me how you got your car. <laughs> what a question. My dear, that still hasn't answered my question. Mm. By daring, girlfriend. Daring? How do you mean daring? Mm -hmm. So are you trying to tell me you can actually beat me in the game? Mm -hmm. I mean, girl. <laughs> Check it yourself now. I mean, check the performance level. I don't get it. Performance level. <laughs> Girl, this is my machine. <laughs> my car proves that. <laughs> Look, I think you're only being lucky. Mm. And I'm the unfortunate one. Uh, because I meet men that are just very tight fisted. If not, I mean, you can't beat me in the game. You're not better than me in bed. <laughs> yes! Mm. It's just that you're lucky. You have a car. You have men that give you money. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, any girl can get into a man's bed. Definitely. But it's not everybody that can get them to empty their purses. <laughs> girl, I'm an expert on that. <laughs> Linda, you know you never cease to amaze me. Do you want to take a ride with me? Well, I think he caught me real bad this time. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to distort your blood pressure. Well, don't talk like friends. Maybe you're forgetting one thing. There are four months. One, two, three, four. Four months in a semester. Alright? And in a month, there are 31 days. 31 times four gives us 124. Multiplied by 250,000 naira a night gives us 31 million naira. That's a whole lot of money. 31 million naira. But that's not a big deal. What? For a girl that is yet to celebrate her 20th birthday, you say it's not a big deal? Fred, it's my money. Yes, I know it's your money, you know, and at the same time, I, I, I know I'm under your employment. You, you pay me salary. 
You see, my problem is that I, I don't want to go back to the streets. Relax. You won't. Yeah, but at this rate now, it might get to that. That's my problem. That's my worry. <laughs> you know what I think you should be doing? I think you should be thinking about setting up on your own. I, I'm really, really thinking in that direction. Yeah. I am. Go ahead. Come up with something. Let's see what happens. Just feed me with that yam of yours. Don't feed me with that yam of yours. I mean, nobody has to tell me this house is very, very expensive. So would you just tell me exactly how you bought these things? I will not be you. Girl, you, you want to be past me. Do you want to know the truth? Yes! And you will believe the truth when you hear it? Girlfriend, I'll believe anything. As long as I know how you got all this exotic, beautiful, gorgeous. Oh, Let me dress. I'll take your man around to lunch and then we can discuss the lunch. Oh, yeah. That lunch, that lunch can wait. I need to know how you actually got all this beautiful thing. I mean, I can't just believe it. So you mean this is where you sleep and wake up? <laughs> this is your house. I'll never take a chill pill. Let me dress up. I'll be right back. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. It's all your bed. Okay. Your previous mind. So, the girl is not as rosy as you think. <laughs> I don't understand you. 
Let me put it this way. Can you sleep with a dog? Dog? God forbid. <laughs> well, girl. Sometimes when I'm in Dubai, which I've been doing lately, I stoop as slow as to sleeping with men. Let's say about 85, <laughs> both, just to make ends meet. Trust me, girl, I do not want to bore you with my activities. Wait, I'm not getting this. Did you say 85? As in the word 85? Oh. Look, it's not as if I'm innocent. I love money so much. I love money. I can actually sleep with a man because of money. But to sleep with an 85-year-old man? Hey, God forbid. And I can't even fathom sleeping with a dog because of money. Hell no, I won't do such a thing. <laughs> and girlfriend, if that is how you make your money, please, you can as well go ahead. I don't even think I'm in for this discussion, because as a matter of fact, I think I'm actually disgusted. Please have yourself a very lovely day. No offense. <laughs> Look at this food. Hell no, if that's the way you make your money, I'm not interested. She will still come to be the one to beg me for money. You're such a fool. <laughs> Three point five million now on what? Let's go in one week. <laughs> well, sure this is not funny. It is. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, my child. The accountant and I just a few days ago were computing the company's monthly revenue, and we came to the conclusion that the company works in two million naira every month. Like of course it's not bad. That's good enough. Alright? But if the company works in two million naira per month and you as the chairman of the company spends 3.5 million naira per week, you say it is not bad. <laughs> My dear, but shall you spend money as soon as some special award of lavishness? At this rate, I'm afraid the company might just go bankrupt. <laughs> God loves a cheerful giver. Yes, it does, but that's not the kind of cheerful giving the Bible preaches. Alright, if you need to, if you have to give up gifts with the intent of spoiling them, believing that is giving. No, that's not the kind of giving the Bible preaches. Giving is given however it is given. No. No, John, no. At this rate, you're hitting down. Have you ever wondered how I've managed before you got here? Oh, for Christ's sake, Ocha, we both studied banking, okay? We know what banking rules is all about. The moment the balance sheet begins to scream negative, then you've got to stop. <laughs> it's okay, Fred. It's okay. No problem. I really advise you to come down on your spending habits. <laughs> You're my friend. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay. Father, my husband has completely changed into something else. For eight weeks running, he has not even bothered to attend Sunday masses. Rosie, never mind that. Father, I am minding. I am really minding. My husband got a good paying job. And I am gradually losing him. Late night and completely not even coming home have characterized his recent life. Father, just look at me. Look at me. I will soon put to bed and he does not know me. It's only my mother. Rose, I think that um, you are too hard on your husband. You are being too hard on him. He was in detention for 18 months and he has spent 14 months sitting idle. Now that he's productive again, uh, it's only natural that he will want to go overdrive. What you need to do is keep your faith in God. Pray without ceasing so that God will stir him positively. That's what you need to do. Father, I have been praying. Pray without ceasing. I have ceasing. been praying. Pray without ceasing. That's what the Lord says. Hmm? Oh, 
Frank, you worry too much. You worry too much. Watcha, why won't I worry myself? Huh? You, you are too extravagant with money. How do you survive it? Exactly the question I ask myself. Now, the other day I asked you to think of setting up something on your own. Have you? Of course I have. I'll talk about something. But the problem is the capital to start with. Never mind about the capital. We're friends, aren't we? Of course we are. Achia. You mean... There's a lot to talk about. Really? says he loves cheerful eh? And I should give, he shall be given unto me. So take. So when last did you read your Bible? My Bible? Father, I read often. Very often. Go and amend the anomalies in your home. Go and make this week come. You know, I didn't come here to be insulted. Get you behind me, Satan. Satan? Oh. Agune Ejibo is Satan. Chief, God is calling you. Come out from those people. Okay, but I'm going. But if you change your mind and want this chief, give me a call. But if you don't, this year's bazaar, count me out. Count me out of the development levy. Yes, even the Anwatas giving service. You can just communicate me. Who cares? Community Hall is no mean project. It is something that all of us have to be involved. That is where we have to bring out our big hearts. And in view of that, I, Okaome, and will donate. <laughs> The sum of 100,000 Naira! Yeah! 
Some of fifty thousand naira. Mr. Chairman, sir, I want every cobalt donated to be returned to the donors immediately. Okay, what do I? How are you? I'm going to find you. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to build you a befitting town hall that will not be seen in any community southeast of the Niger. Thank you, MC. Towards this, I am donating the sum of 100 million naira. Forever. No, 
get this for a client, get this client. I married you just to satisfy my mother. Please don't push it. Don't push it, please. Now get out of here. I beg you, I'm sorry. Go to the visitor's room. Right now. From this moment, you're banished from this room. Go to the guest room. Go to the visitor's room and don't go back to my room again. business when I go out and when I come in. Go upstairs. I did not employ you to speak for me. Next time you try making an explanation to my wife, you get a sack. For God's sake, she's your wife. So what? She doesn't even like to know where you're Besides, look at what time it is. What kind of dinner are we going for at this time of the day? Whoever told you we're going for dinner, believe anything. So, where are we going? To? Where's the car? Kaibi bendu no nye mechi, echi bi aya muba, mana tata busoni, biko ne kufeta ba. Kaibi bendu no nye mechi, echi bi aya muba, mana tata busoni, biko ne kufeta ba. Kaibi bendu no nye mechi, echi bi aya muba, mana tata busoni, biko ne kufeta ba. Kaibi bendu no nye mechi, echi bi aya muba, mana tata busoni, Watch your hand, dear. 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 I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Haji. Um, gentlemen, this is my new personal assistant, Fred. Fred, I go to achieve. I go to achieve. I go back. And now there's uh, Ubo. Ubo what? <laughs> Ubo. They are meant to bring the block pressure down. I don't understand. Sure, come on. <laughs> you think a boat can go on and on without talking for a fence? All these girls here are for taking away. Just grab a drink, take away, pay as you want. <laughs> so, go ahead, take a drink. Here you have the girls. Oh, yeah. What's it? I'm married too. And my friends are married too. We tell our wives what to do. Huh? Now listen. Enjoy yourself. Take a drink. Don't call any of the girls. Okay. I'm married. Okay. I'm married too. I'm married too. Press it down. Watch your hand. Open both. I'm married too. I'm married too. 
気にやるよとあるよ。えー、わあ、なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。なんだよ。Listen.
Do new members come here to do if not to get initiated? Ha! Ochara! What? Of course, we hold our initiation once every five years, don't we? Ha! And so, must we initiate every Tom Dickahan in this our court? Ah, uh, come on. Fred is not every Tom Dick and Harry. So, what is he? No, people are right. Of course. So if you initiate him, who becomes your baby? If I initiate this bastard, into, who runs my errands? I mean, we cannot just afford to register everybody that we see in this court. You may have a point there. Not me, it's crystal clear. Our child is crystal clear. Some of us are supposed to be wealthy, while the others serve us. Only some of us. All these other people you see are supposed to serve us. Eh? If we register everybody and everybody becomes rich, that means few people will be poor to serve us. It will not be interesting to be rich anymore. Eh? I can achieve it. I understand you. But you see, Fred and I have come a long way. Way back in school. He practically helped me to graduate. So I owe him one. Huh? Moreover, he has been with me for a very long time. He knows me in and out. If he finds out what I do and how I get my money, he may spell doom for us. Oh, Chara, tell me another thing. Tell me something else. Ah, don't you know what happens to people who poke their nose? I'm going to achieve it. Okay, let me get straight with you. I want to initiate him because I want to help him. He's like a brother to me. I'm going to Look at him. It's okay. It's Look at his shoes. It's my pal. Ha! It's my pal. It's okay. It's okay. Now, nah, Charlie, Charlie, meet him. Meet him. I'm in a board meeting, and this meeting will last till 7 a.m. Yes, go to sleep, keep awake, that is your business. Yes, I said I'm in a board meeting, and don't waste my credit. Deal with me. 
No man says I won't have my fun because I'm married. Because when you die, your wife can have to work when easy. Anyhow, anywhere. And who says I must die before my wife? How many widowers do you see on the streets? There's all widows here, widows here, widows here, widows here. Your mother for one, your mother in law for another. Ocha, I was not brought up to be promiscuous. Oh, come on. Nobody was brought up to be anything. Jetition is your attitude. Women. And when I'm talking about women, I'm talking about wives. They don't need to be encouraged by this, your holy scripture attitude. Look at all this, look at all these girls, look at all of them. They are here to provide the good things of life. Goodies of life. And who tells you that the good things of our life is all about sex? What is she about the good things of life, if not about you both? How can I cope with steady? Excuse me? What yeah. do you mean by that? Okwe is the greatest gift God gave to man. No matter the religion, no matter the race, everybody enjoys it. You wouldn't say Igane Bogwe because he kept one woman in the house who's going to find out what you're doing. She's not going to find out unless you tell her. Thank you very much for your advice. But I am happily married. Let me tell you. I rescued you from abject poverty. Do you think I will rescue you and then I won't let you have the highest advantage of things? Tell me, of what advantage is sleeping with all these underage girls? When there are very mature girls you can sleep with? Now listen, this is underaged ones and then we can have the matured ones later. Oh, I'd rather not. Fredo, you have a lot of catching up to do. Please, help me do the catching up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. So, I get my takeaway. Um, how do you? Two. What have we got here? Could I let you what you got? Wow. You got it. We go? Okay. Alright, friend. Manatata Busori, 
Consider naming you Doctor of Ogwe. Man, shut up, What are you doing here? Can you say I'm busy? We've got to talk. Talk? Why now? Absolutely necessary we talk now. Hey, Pussycat, get out of here. I see you now enjoy these on the rich girls, don't you? Yeah, but you introduced me to this game, so don't try to rob my singing. No, I am going to introduce you to something of more benefit. The art of making money. You have to make money? Sure. You will? What are friends for? I know you've always wondered how I stay afloat. So that it might be lavish. Don't you? Yeah, you can say that again. The secret is Obaka. Obaka? What do you say? Obaka? What do you mean by that? I don't know. Opu. Opu. I don't what you're talking about. Can, can you be a little bit more specific? Agune Chibo, Agaba, and a host of other guys, we all belong to a special society. You mean a cult? Well, we call it a special society. You sow one seed, you get a hundred in return. I don't follow you. I don't quite follow you. For every naira I spend, I get a hundred naira in return. Try it. Try it. Try what? Becoming a member. Is it there any kind of repercussion you know, if one becomes a member? What repercussion is greater than poverty? No, what I mean is, I mean, you know how we you think about it. Become an importer. Be your own man. Get involved. 
with money you can do anything. You can get anything you want. If you know where. Some time. You've heard, you've seen a lot about me. I'm not going to be very comfortable with you if you don't enter my groove. Hey, Ocha, you want to find me? Exactly. What have I done now? Please, I don't want to go back to the streets. What have you not done? Best of the show for them must flop together. I have not said no. And neither have you said yes. Yes, it's because I'm, I'm still thinking. Huh? Think about those years you were locked up in detention. Think about those years you were fruitlessly searching for a job. Think about those years. You got a wife based on the magnanimity of your father in law. Think about those years and you will understand there's really nothing to think about. So, so what do you want me to do? Get initiated. Initiated? Yes. It comes once in every five years and is due next month. Do not miss this opportunity. Yes. I'm telling you all this because you're a friend I hold dear to my heart. Join our club and become part of the living. I told you this many years ago. Join our club now that you've come of age.
Have you thought about what we discussed? Yes, I have. I'm listening. Look, I haven't got time for any indecision. I have to submit a name and a meeting tonight. Or you have to wait for another five years. That's if you get another chance. Yes, I've thought about it and uh, it's okay by me. Yes. You must sit down. Sit down. to be an apostle of Obaka. Promise to be an apostle of Obaka. Abide by the rules. Abide by the rules. Sow and reap. Sow and reap. Kill or be killed. Kill or be killed. Sacrifice or be sacrificed. Sacrifice or be sacrificed. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. It is better to live in affluence for one year than to live hundred years in misery. You may now drink the wine of wealth. When a child washes clean his hands, you can now dine wine with the king and the lords. You may now take your seats. Tony, you will be king. Repeat after me. I, Tony, you will be king. Promise to be a good apostle. business that I did. Guess what? I'm listening. After selling the three containers of products I imported, I made 30 million naira. 
Did you do it? Ah, yes, I did, sweetie. I did! But uh, all of a sudden, it dawned on me that the road to success, the road to greatness, is usually disastrous. And I remembered Thirty-two months in hell. Thirty-two months of suffering. Honey, I'm pleased that you're happy. What about you? Ain't you happy? Huh? Tell me. Hmm? Ain't you happy? Listen, listen. All I have for you is a surprise. Honey. Listen. I will only be happy when you return to God. You know, as it was before you got the job. I will. I certainly will get back to God. Yes. Mm, mm. You know, I'll, I'll put this over there. Ah. Yes, my dear. Ah. I will get back. And I think we have to move out of this place. Why? You know, when, uh, when money comes, money still us us to move up. Mm? I think I'm going to buy a house in BBC. Call your mother, call mine, and then we'll all live together. All right? Put an end to suffering once and for all. Honey, mm? honey, but there's nothing wrong with what we have here. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> You know something, sweetheart? Poverty is bad. I can see uh, the fabrics of poverty is eating you up. You don't want to move along with me. <laughs> <laughs> but even at that, I'll carry you along. I'll carry you along. Okay. Mm, I'll carry you along.
to go to the loo. You don't treat women that way. You tell your wife when you sit down, I'm going to stand up. That's it. Anyway, I have uh, arranged our tickets to Abuja. So oh, you did? Well, I'm ready. You're right. I'm ready. Let's go again. I'm going to make sure everything is packed. You sure? Sure. Mm. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I don't 
Easy, easy, go slack up. No, no, easy, 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 easy. So good to buy this. Something is bothering me. Why should a man of your status be bothered? You see, my mother and my mother-in-law both refuse to come and live with me. But why should that bother you? Come on, Ocha. They both suffered for me when I had nothing. I just feel this is the best time for me to pay them back for all they did for me. You don't need them in your house to pay them back. Buy them gifts. Give them enough money. Remember, I'm a young boy. But at the same time, I feel for you to show one love, you know the person close by you. With what is coming, you don't need them around. What is it that is coming? Never mind. They are not coming. Send them money, enough money, gifts. Buy them cars. You know, I'm just thinking I should just go ahead and do my traditional wedding. Now you're talking. I wanted to do it before my father in law died. The Parker family will stand behind you to mesmerize them. So go ahead. to join your ancestors. That, or you will lose both within a week. That's your choice. But this is not we Do you think something goes for nothing? Explain this to me. Listen, Fred. Nothing goes for nothing. No member of the Waka family lives more than 10 years after initiation. You see all the girls you see in the club? None of them will ever get married. None of them will live above 40 years. Why? Come on. A solid life spanning 10 years is worth more than 100 years lived in misery. Didn't they teach you that in banking psychology? I'm, I'm 38 already, okay? Six months old into the car. Are you trying to tell me that you have that? I have just nine years and six months to leave? Exactly. I've been in the call for nine years. Just got a few months to go and I'm still bubbling. Still feeling on top of the world. 
So why worry? Okay, I accept that. What has my wife and mother got to do with this? For well, Maka's choice. And mind you, you don't question his choice. So, what am I expected to do? Come on. Act like a man. Close your eyes and do what you gotta do. It's either your mother dies or your wife dies. If one of them has to die a week before the traditional wedding. But the Ibanko has to go on. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Why? Right? It doesn't make sense at all. My wife dies seven days before the Iban. So what happens to the Iban? You will not be the first, neither will you be the last to wear a corpse. A what? Besides, Obaka has his wings. My dear mother, you suffered for me. 30 years after my father's death. I said, my dear wife, who stood by me throughout my period of trial. Where are the choices, yours? Nothing. Honey, you've not eaten for the past three days. And you're crying. And you see nothing. Tell me, did you have any business misfortune? Honey, if you did, that's no problem. We have persevered before. We can do it again. Okay? Come on. Thank you. 
seeds and I'll wait what will follow. Return his seeds? Of course. Everything you have, including the ones you've spent, should be returned to Baka. But that's not possible. Make it possible. And then you could live forever with your beloved mother and wife. You know what? Sometimes I'm forced to believe in that you are the devil himself. If the devil comes in the form of pound sterling, dollars, and oil, you couldn't be more apt. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Do you know sometimes I, I, I find it very difficult to understand the devil? I don't understand you too. Ochara fada fada, Ochara fada fada, your money be like you want that. Ochara fada fada, your friends and me go come back again. Ochara fada fada, but I know they finish for well. Ochara fada fada, Ochara fada fada, Ochara fada fada, your money be like you be a Ochara fada fada, your friends and me go go back again. Ochara fada fada, but I know they finish for face. Ochara fada fada. Ochara fada fada, 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 ochara fada fada. Oscar, we ready? We're ready. We're go. to join your ancestors. That, or you will lose both within a week. Fred! What is the matter? Look 
Don't tell me there's nothing. I know you. I am your mother. So tell me what is it? Eh? Who could be worrying you after the events of the past? Tell me. I have a feeling that things are not moving the way they ought to move. You see that building that I'm putting on out there? I ought to have finished that building. Fred, I didn't know you to be an ingrate in me. Mama, it's not a matter of being an ingrate. You see, all my colleagues have completed their mansions in the city and in the village. Mm. We will soon join them. Oh? Wash your hands. Wash, wash your hands. Even cut it. Just that uh, I want one has to go back to school. If not, I wouldn't have loved to. You sell. don't need to sell everything. You use what you have to get what you want. That's why people like us are there to help us. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, let, let, me you you. Uh, let me help you with this thing. Hold them back. This one you called me. Yeah, I see, man. Financial problem. Money. Mama. I'll give you your school fees. My school fees, Mama. Then I'm going to go to a care market and buy all those books, the lists you gave me yesterday. They are still on the table, isn't it? Uh, it's inside. Uh, uh, 
So I'm going to buy the list, okay? Okay. Thank you. Now, have you eaten? I'm not eating. What is the matter? Do you need money? Well, it's not a matter of money. What? I'm almost too sell everything you have in this house just to pay my school fees. I know that when you grow up, eh? after school, you are going to be a big man. And you will buy me Torita, be there, George, uh, name it. Eh? You will even buy me a replay if possible because I know you will be a big man. Eh? <laughs> Fred,
Do I kill my mother? Or my wife? Both has been very wonderful to me. My mother? No. No, I can't kill her. My wife? Certainly not. She's eight months pregnant. And if I do, that will mean killing two people. What do I do? I have one less than two weeks. you like this. I remember the no-nonsense Jagacha way back in school. I said stop, Norbert. So, what's eating you up? You know damn well what I'm going through. Relax. Relax. Are you asking me to relax, Norbert? How could you be this callous? How could you, Norbert? Whatever you're saying or going through, people have gone through worse things. Oh yes, that you are very, very correct. Because I don't blame you. I blame myself because I walked right into this with my eyes wide open. There's no problem without a solution. This one has it. Did you hear me? This one has no solution. Fred, 
Agua Obani Faja Bokala. And you will spend your mobile job with that's all you can offer. I talked about luck. You went wild. Have you ever asked me how my father died? Or how my twin sister died? Or what killed my first wife, Felicia? Have you ever asked? So what are you trying to say? <laughs> I told you people have gone through worse things. I told you. No, but if you've got anything to tell me, go ahead and talk to me. Well, Opaka Babu Feta. the three of them. I paid my dues. I sacrificed my father, sacrificed my twin sister, sacrificed my wife to get to where I am today. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean you killed them, including your twin sister? Yes. The three of them? Well, when we go to the club, ask Obaka. Oh my god. You see why I was saying you were lucky? Obaka had me no choice. I went wild. I was mad. I disappeared into the bush for seven days without food or water. When I came out, I had to do what had to be done. You killed three of them, including your own twin sister. What is there in picking a mother who is 35 years older than you? Or picking a wife where there are other women who will sleep into her shoes when she's gone? No, 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 listen, listen. Listen, Baka, Baka, just listen. Hear me out. You see, these women mean so much to me. Friend, look at me well. I sacrificed my twin sister. My twin sister who was born from the same womb with me on the same day. I did that because it had to be done. Look, you've gotten this far. There's no going back. I can go back. I can. Because I have a choice. I can choose to die and let them leave. <laughs> At what purpose then? Why would you get to this height and not so down? Hmm? Look, I named a street after my father in Enugu. I built a hospital in Oka and named it after my sister. I built a primary school school in First Town, Lagos. Named it after my wife. They still live on in my heart. Listen, Chagat, build a maternity clinic. Name it after your mother. Build a very beautiful, modern structure of a primary and secondary school. Name it after your wife. If you choose her, what else could be more befitting? Living 100 years and be forgotten when you're dead? Or living for one year and be remembered forever? Which would you prefer? I'm sure you can go on and on. Can't you? Why don't you go ahead? <laughs> Listen, where I am coming from, no half names. Even in the Bible, there was Solomon, there was Methuselah. Like Check out their records. Check out their Be a man. Men are known for doing what they got to do. That's a man. That's the mark of a man.
I was beginning to wonder, people asking questions, raising eyebrows about marrying a cops. Why would you question it? Like, tell me, how am I going to do it? How am I going to do it? Seven days after my mother's death. Don't worry. Go back and we'll find a way. Moreover, you could always talk to the elders. They will definitely find a reason why the wedding was held. It's your money. Just give a standing order. And you're going to offer me a drink? that are delaying this job for completion. Mama, this world is wonderful. Who would have believed? The Fred, my only brother, <laughs> can even feed a game, uh -huh. let alone building this big house in my father's company. Mama, I'm so You know that, my car. Mm -hmm. eh? It was actually uh, the, the one that Fred bought for me now. Eh? It was Rose, the wife that drove it down. Really? Yes. And she came with the driver that she left. But, you know, oh. That driver that is driving it now. Mama, it's okay. Mama, it's okay. Congratulations! Right. 
Ah! Why are you behaving like a small schoolboy who was caught in the act? You knew five months ago your mother was going to die. Huh? How many people on this planet have such information? Now I know you are a devil. Oh, Fred, nothing goes for nothing. It was your choice, not mine. She loved your wife so much. <laughs> Unfortunate that Mama had to die at this moment when she ought to be enjoying the fruits of her labor. That is the most painful aspect of it. Determined to give her a very defeating burial. But that will be after my wine carrying that is coming up in six days' time. After your what? Mama is dead, you know, and it's in the mortuary. My wine carrying must go on. Fred. Fred, are you alright? Fred, what has gone wrong with you? Mama is dead body in the mortuary for your wine carry. Listen, Chica, listen, listen to me. You won't understand. I postponed it the first time. And I'm not about to do it again. The last time I did that, it almost cost me my life. Cost you your life? Besides, Mama approved of the wine carrying before she died.
Let's see what happens. Ruban must come. It must come. Because I have already sent out invitations to a lot of people. Senators, ministers, traditional rulers, and even governors. Right. Your mother died just three days ago. And a week later, you want to invite the whole dignitaries in Nigeria to your mother. Now, no, no, wait. Apart from that, look at your wife. Heavily pregnant. What if she goes to bed while you're doing the mother? I will have ambulances on the ground. Doctors will be there. Surgeons will be there. Nurses will be there to attend to her in case of anything. But we see that tomorrow. It must go on. Why dishonor her with this stupid arrangement? Mama, I've been telling him. I've been telling him. Uh, what you do not know is that the plan is on the way. Right to build the best private nursery, primary, and secondary school in Abuja and name them after her. Okay, and not just that, streets will be named after her, hospitals will be named after her to immortalize her. I mean, it, it will simply bear Ijoma Iwe Memorial Nursery, Primary, and Secondary School. All right? The plan is ready. The plan is ready? Oh, yes. But your mother just died. But that would have stopped us from building the school. The school the building will still take place. After building, name them after her. All I would have simply done is name them without the memorial. That was the original. Again, what happened? My own mother died. Now, any attempt for us to postpone this traditional marriage, who knows what is going to happen? It might be your turn to die. God forbid. You see why we must let this traditional marriage go ahead? My happiness, mommy, is that my mother approved of this traditional marriage before she died. And wherever she will be, I know in the bosom of the Lord, she will be happy to see this traditional marriage hold. And don't forget, mommy, I won't stop at anything for Rose. Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure it's for Rose. <laughs> myself and I, I expect you should understand. It's not only the reason you're still alive after insulting of Maka. I'm really very sorry. I take everything back. That's all right. Please, uh, uh, one more thing. I want to crave your indulgence. Let's put everything behind us. I want you to be behind me as I go for this um, this, this, this wine carry. That's all right. What are friends for? Thank you very much.
Sweet. Fred. Fred, what has come over you? I can't understand you going on with this one, Karen. You don't even look me in the face anymore. But what has come over you?
Where do you think you're going? Go to that spray home money. Which of the money? This is it. This one you're holding? Yes. <laughs> Listen, woman, don't try to pour some cups of water in an ocean in an attempt to make it look bigger. Huh? This is one thousand dollars. Dollars. Go home and help yourself. Thank you. You don't have to give when you don't Thank have. You. Thank you. Now take it and leave. Those are just mere escorts. You see, we use them in such occasions. 
them because they provide some form of security. For God's sake, your father was a very rich man. You must have gotten used to people like that. My father had never moved a day with die-hard men. And suspicious looking men. Sweetheart, watch your tongue, okay? Just watch your tongue. And who was that man who wore a red piece of clothes tied around his neck? I mean, he was even laughing when the lovers shot at him. What sort of human being is he? A pastor? How am I expected to know? For God's sake, the man could have been God's sight. Alright? If he wasn't there, then the situation would have been worse than what it was. I don't know why you're asking all these questions. Fred, I don't want to believe he belong to a cult. Meaning what? Huh? What? Meaning what? That came with the helicopter for that the way they were spraying money. Don't 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 jump to hasty conclusion. But I am listen. Let us commit everything to God. Okay? Kneel down, let's pray. to do. Everything seems stuck in my veins. My sister calls me virtually every minute asking about my mother's burial. And my wife visits the parish priest every other day and comes back home with holy water. The both women are getting suspicious of everything right now as we speak and my wife in particular she is beginning to ask very suspicious questions then you have to find a way of evading those questions you don't live with my wife i do she's not the kind of woman you can toss around mm. then we have to take care of her Take care of who? Taking care of her. You should have chosen her instead of your mother if you knew that she was going to be a nuisance. I chose my mother. Please, don't remind me of that. Fred, you're in the holy place. You shut up. You got me to this mess. Hey, nobody talks like that here. To hell with you. My mother is in the mortuary, not yours. And my sister is getting suspicious of every of my activity. And my wife... Enough! Enough! Now what do you want to do? I want to bury my mother. Not yet. Because her spirit is not dead yet. Spirits never die. That's why they're called spirits. Not when Ubaka is involved. When Ubaka is involved, death is for spirit and soul. I have waited for one month and seven days and I cannot continue to wait anymore. People will soon start guessing. Let them guess. We cannot be certain of our courage until we are faced with danger. This is not a matter of courage, but that of destruction. My mother's body in the mortuary is attracting undue attention. And my wife in particular is going to ask too many questions. I want you to understand that the net is surely spread in vain. 
when the bird can see it. Then um, we have to do something about your wife. I warned you for the last time. I have already made my choice. Leave my wife out of this. I don't mean killing her. Then what do you mean? Well, something to resituate her mind. Resituate her mind? Yes. How? People are so influential that they are now the political godfathers we have in this area. Listen, I am aware that all the councillors, all the local government chairmen, all the members of the House of Assembly, and the members of the House of Representatives, all the three senators in this zone, including the present state governor, we are sponsored by them. How can must we continue to fold our arms and watch this trend? No, uh, something has to be done. You are talking of that. I was privileged to attend the Hawaiian Karim ceremony of one of them. Come and see how these boys came in a fantastic convoy. Really around the field. And a helicopter on top. Spraying money everywhere. I was dazed. I felt ashamed. I said, what type of court are we in? I couldn't stand it because I felt I didn't suit in. I had to live in anger. We are talking of social event. Do but what of the church? Inside the church. Follow me. When the only member of this super I think comes into the church, now the whole thing will seem to be suspended. Until the seat is found for him. I nearly lost my balance one day when they were looking for seat for one of them. And that's what you people are telling me. We will continue to look at. And this small children are trying to hang up at the Eh? Something has to be done, no? Urgently! Therefore, our people say that Nkonye Lilo God. That's all right. What is the essence of life without money? Superior, please bail us out. Let me tell you something. Every cult has aims and objectives by which it was set up. In their own case, it is a cult of young men. The idea is to make quick money and die young. They won't even see their children grow. We will nurture our children. We will watch them grow to limelight. They will become people in life. Superior, please, please. And please don't get that back. I'm sorry. Nurture our children. Reach 100 years in penury. See, in poverty. Imagine. I rather die at the age that I know and make, uh, enjoy myself. Why not? Somebody even said some time ago that one year of real enjoyment of your money is worth more than 100 years of poverty. It is better for me to have that money and die when they are dying. Bam! Then you go back and say, I'm too young, 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 so they have to be done and done fast. Such an extravagant gift. 
Oh, why not, Father? Right, take a look at this church. Does it look like a warehouse church to you? This is not a warehouse church. And why you say this, Father? This is the Roman Catholic Church. Of course I do. And you also know that uh, I am not permitted to accept such gifts. Why? First of all, I'm a Holy Ghost Father by ordination. Secondly, the parish is providing for me. I have a car, I live comfortably, I have no need for material things. But well, Father, is it written any, anywhere in the Holy Book that the man of God should refuse a well-intended gift like this? Giving this kind of gift to a man of God is not well-intended. At my level of practice, it is morally wrong for me to wallow or swim in such uh, earthly luxury. In spite of what people think, the Catholic Church has norms. Very well respected norms. Father, I must say, you know, that you surprise me. Uh, I hear that uh, you have turned your back against the Lord recently. Well, part of why I've come to uh, give you this. <laughs> for all my needs, you know, uh, by letting the Lord share from the fruits of my baby. And which other better way can I do that other than give it such a beautiful gift to a man of God like you? Oh, Father, would you rather I write <laughs> this straight into heaven? Fred, take your car and go home. You give to the Lord from a clean heart. Do not attempt bribery. You can't bribe the Almighty. JD, what did your teacher teach you today? Mathematics. Mathematics? Um, so what is 12 plus 12? 24. 24? Clap your sister, clap your sister. Oh, good girl. And uh, what is 1 plus 1? 2. 2! Clap for him, good boy. Rose. Rose. It appears you've been telling Father Reginald a lot of uncomplimentary things about me. Uh, Fred, I'm not told Father Reginald anything uncomplimentary. Then how come? You rejected the card gift I gave to him. Fred, I am not for the Reginald. And I don't want to know if you encounter with him. I see. I see you, Rose. Well, he said he's a Holy Ghost Prince of the Roman Catholic Church. And he said it with a lot of confidence. Suggesting that other churches are mere devil worshippers. But never mind, I know what to do. The same card gift he rejected. I am going to take to those warehouse churches that he called for I mean, to God, I will give what rightfully belongs to him. Simple. Honey, broke and straight is the way that leads to destruction. Exactly. I think not you knew that. Huh? Rose. I lost my job for no just cause. All right? Bring back all I ever said. Went to detention for 18 months. Came out! And for 14 months I sought for a job. What other narrow and curved paths have I passed through? Come on, sweetheart. I thought you ought to be more reasonable than this. The path I am doing today is the path that will lead me to eternal life. Oh, 
you too. Um, sorry, the, the Lord ministered to my spirit yesterday, asking me to come uh, present this card to you, to enable you to become a better fisher of men. Me? Yes, you. So please uh, kindly accept this oh, from the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I ask you to come down right now and shower your blessing on this your servant here. Please let's go in and do more prayers. You need more blessings. <laughs> Please let's go. Hallelujah. Come <laughs> on. 
from Psalms 1 to 150. From the beginning to the end. Look at it. If I have to love him. Tell of him. I won't have need for all of you. And this man here. You will fast for two months. My you can't conceive me. Instead of him to give me. He's asking for me. Hallelujah. Shoes for a church. You talk about him forever. Huh? I like you. You know, you, you come across as very smart. Thank you. Don't take a tip from me. Stay clear of the Pakako. Pakako? That's what they are called. Oh. Okay. I want you to take a closer look at that. A closer look, you will see that they are always in one problem or the other. Everyone you see there, <laughs> they've all managed to have this. And leave it for money. I don't understand. I, I don't quite follow. Okay, L let me bring it down. Your girl, for instance, Abam. Does he have a child? Oh. I see. Uh, Linda, when we get to that bridge, I will cross it. Mm -hmm. See, I came to you because you are my only chance. I don't want to go to Mayoga. Mayoga is the type of person that once he crosses a bridge, he wants the bridge broken. My God wants me to serve him forever. And in the moment, I can't do it. Moreover, come to think about it. Are you not a woman? Are you not a member? So, if you can be a member, why can't I? Okay. How I would love to switch places with you right now. At the bottom of my heart. <laughs> you see, you're talking to a dead girl walking. I don't have much time to live. So take my advice. Walk away. Is it that bad? You don't know half of it. Oh. Just take care. Okay?
do like this. Tell you something, Norbert. It is true we've made money. Plenty of it. But believe me, when better than those beggars out there in the streets. My mother is dead. Lying in the mortuary. Fred, I've always told you you are a very lucky guy. Please save me now. Do you know that any day I make love to my wife, I'll be a dead man? What did you just say? You have children of all sexes. What do I have? Nothing. But at least you have God. That's very important. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. I'm seeing you for the very first time here. Yes. So how may I help you? Actually, Pastor, I, I have a problem. I knew it! I knew! Somebody is trying to take your husband away from you. No, no, no Pastor, I don't think you have a That is it! A young woman is trying to take away your boyfriend from you! No, no, Pastor, I, I belong to a powerful cause. Aha! I said it! Your problem is spiritual, not carnal. For we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. That cult you are in is a woman. And the woman is doing all she can to check who is supposed to be your husband for you. Pastor, I, I, I'm, I'm the only female member. That is what I'm saying. Pastor, I, I believe I'm under a curse. So if you would help me, I, I, I promise to make it what you want. See, I, I have everything money can buy. You know, I have cars. Houses, millions in my account. I, I just need a husband. As young as you are, how did you make it? Pastor is a long story. Uh, but if you would help me, I I will show appreciation to 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 the church. I mean to your church uh, by um, donating, giving you people like two million. Two what? Or do you want more? Oh, well, what did you say? Two what? Million. Two million. Yes, yes, in appreciation. <laughs> two million. Let's start here now. Let us pray. No, no, no. When we go inside, it will be too late. Let's start now. He that challenges the gods 
must brace up for its consequences. Linda Okonkwo, it is time for you to die. Your brother has become a different man from the man I married. Since he came across this as ill-gotten money. Ill-gotten? You weren't there at the wine carrying. How could I? Sorry, I forgot. My sister, you did yourself a whole lot of good by avoiding the total disgrace. I heard. Oh. Believe me, Fred has a very wrong a very wrong route since he met this his friend called Nobet. And we actually went to the same school, we were in the same department, and even graduated together. My sister, since Fred met Nobet, our happiness had been replaced with billions of Naira notes. Without a particular source, my sister, I am afraid. Huh? Every time I call Fred, Fred tells me one stupid thing or the other, or even hang the phone on me. Fred doesn't care. He doesn't seem to understand that our only mother, our Ojigo, that woman that suffered for him, that woman that virtually sold everything she had for him, is on the mortuary and remain unburied. Huh? Even last Sunday, he gave my car to a mushroom church. Chica, Fred has taken everything away from you. Everything. Why has the devil visited me? Eh? Haven't I so far enough? Haven't I so far enough? Eh? Haven't I gone to God for so often to get his protection? Chica, tell me now. Just tell me. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So just stop, just stop holding yourself, okay? Hey, hey, what's going on there? Why didn't you call to tell me you were coming? Uh-uh. Huh? I don't think I needed permission to visit you. Besides, I did not go to see you anyway. Oh, I see. Yes. Fred, look at the woman you married. Who stood 
after you all those years you were suffering, Fred. Look at what is left of her. You have broken her heart. Oh, she appointed you as spokesperson, isn't it? Huh? Uh, well, um, in that case, I think you have to go. You have to leave my house. Say so cool. Me, Fred? Leave my house. Leave this place, your house? Of course you heard me. I said leave this place. Never. Fred, I said no. I cannot. You have a husband, don't you? Of course I do. Good. Fred, it may interest you to know that I have a very good husband. A wonderful husband. God fear your husband. Who is not heartless like you. Who knows how to take care of the wife at any given time. Fred, you're heartless. Fred, you don't even care to remember that our only mother, Ojuku, who sold everything she had for you, is in the mortuary. And you never even care to bury her. You're shouting. You're shouting. And you don't get to shout in my house. Okay? Now listen, I would suggest you go to Onicha, back to your husband, and take care of him and just leave me alone. Did you hear what I said? Of course I hear. Good. So you go and leave me alone. Hey! Hey, hey! Oh, you've been complaining about me to her, isn't it? Well, begin to brace up because you're moving into the boys' quarters. Did you hear what I said? What? You heard me. Fred! Fred, even in your sister's presence, Fred! And who is she? Who is she that I can't say or do what I want to do? In my own house, I've said what I said. Begin to brace up because you're moving into the boys' quarters. Is there anything wrong for somebody to be rich and wants to be generous with his wealth? Is there anything wrong with eh? Then what am I hearing? That my own sister is accusing me of killing her mother and using her for money rituals. Is it possible? Oh yes, Fred. Fred, with every reason. Fred, I have every reason. You have to do this. Do you know what she's saying? Period of trial. Alright? She was the one catering for the entire family. 
my mother, my own, my own father. She did very well, took care of everybody. But that was so basically because I was incapacitated. Alright? Now that God has blessed me and has repositioned me to take up my responsibility as the man of the family. Is it something to be to, to be angry about? No, no, no. Is it something to be angry about? No, no, no. Alright? Now I want you to help me ask her. Are you jealous, Chica? Even please, even now. Let me ask her, are you jealous of my position? Each a lad. Each a lad. It's alright. Hey, this is funny. You know, you are not like this. It's alright. I don't like this. It's alright. I don't like this. 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 As far as this issue is concerned, the two of you have spoken enough. I mean, Fred here has made a point that is as clear as the daylight. Chica, you owe your brother an apology. And the white cow in addition. Igwe, over my dead body. Over your dead what? I said over my dead body. Fred Yet is responsible for my mother's death. Oh, my pastor said so. And it interests all of you to know that my pastor never lied. He is responsible. So I am the one lying. Alright? May I check the power? May I check the power? After all, the both of us are the same now. Don't do it! Fred! Don't do it! You know all! You are my old Fred! Let me tell you, lies has no relationship with that. And for your information, I don't have anything to do with a deadly cop member like you. Shut up! Shut up and sit down. Sit down. How dare you? Don't forget that you are a woman. It is true you are another. But that doesn't undermine the fact that you still bend to urinate. You have insulted this palace enough by your unguarded utterances. And I have this to say until you buy a car to cleanse in your abominable utterances, you will remain banished from this village. Igwe, I do not expect otherwise. Because Frank here has bribed you people with his. Gotten gift. Huh? Bella say, listen, all of you. At the end of the day, we will all eat your words. Excuse me. You see what I do? You can imagine the way she's even addressing you. I want to say, baby. She's my sister. My blood sister, at that. Okay? I cannot like her. Under her. Please, on her behalf. And that of the family. I apologize. I apologize, please. It's all right, teacher. Okay, I'm a little man. Okay, I'm a little man. Is it not the elder of Alan? It is so. 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 I can't continue like this. Um, I want to bury my mother. All right. You will uh, bury your mother exactly six months from today. Months? Why not in a week's time? Won't you make preparations? Leave that to me. We don't want to have a repeat of what happened at your wine carry. Who the hell are you? I should be asking you. How did you get into this holy temple? We have been watching you. For what? Wise men are prepared by reason. Men of understanding by experience. The most ignorant by necessity and the beast by nature. And to what do we owe this unnecessary rendition? The greatest ability in business is to get along with others and influence their action. <laughs> do we really need all this jaw-jaw? Until the rotten tooth is pulled out, 
the mild must chew with caution. When a proud man hears another praised, he is injured. What is your mission here? We represent the Ogamba Fraternity. We are alarmed at your unguarded proliferations. What an old man sees sitting, a young man does not even see standing on top of the tree. No tyranny of circumstances can permanently imprison a determined will. Determination is not shooting from the hips, but rather organized thoughts, mechanism, control, and a subtle execution. You get out of life what you put in. No man knows it all. No man has it all. Hasty climbers have sudden falls. You have already installed two third members of the State House of Assembly. You have also installed three members of the Senate in Abuja. You now want the governor. He that is everywhere is nowhere. The ability to conquer is not greed, but rather the exhibition of courage and skill. Before Abraham, there was Jesus. The Ogamba Fraternity warns that you take your hands off the government house. We have our governor. Unfortunately, we do not share the same candidate. Oh, too bad. We have a group, and no one should be left behind. But the governor just completes the circle. Cautious of your ignorance is a great step to knowledge. He who starts cooking before others definitely gathers no utensils. We have spoken. Pick up the challenge if you dare. That's an insult. No doubt, I'm fraternity. Just a group of old men. You know how you know them? They just put one block into the dilapidated structure. Every year. Where would they get money to install a government? This is blood and nonsense. Yes. Nonsense. I say we give them a fight. Sure. We fight them. The doctrine of an eye for an eye leaves everybody blind. It is the heart that makes a man rich. A rich man is what he is and not what he has. We must tread carefully. Very carefully. So what do we do? Watch. So what do I do, my friend? You will prepare for your mother's burial in two months' time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, but 
No, but are you trying to tell me that you are going to die? In two weeks' time, I'll be no more. Let's go to the Love Garden and enjoy ourselves. I've had my fun. Two years of living in affluence is better than 200 years of living in misery. I've controlled women, I've controlled them. So why would I regret it? So, like every other mortal, I time to check out. And I'm feeling on top of the world. Because I've enjoyed myself. I have lived wonderfully as a man. I think I have a lot of living behind for generations. I kept the standing order to the rich. To release them to me. I just hope they are fine. No, no, they are fine. They will be fine. He just drove Rose out of the house like that without a single thing to her name. God, if, if anyone had told me that Fred of all people would treat Rose this way, God, I would never have believed that. Rosie. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Almighty Father, this is your solid daughter, Rosie. She has walked in the ways. Almighty Father, she is weighed down by the infirmities of this world. Send down the Holy Spirit with the healing power and heal her soul of all the iniquities, of all infirmities. Heal her spirit. Heal her physically. All this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Take her to the hospital. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Father. Okay, sir. Let me see your work. Okay. Uh, I'll soon be back, okay? says anything without fulfilling it, okay? Hmm? That's what a good daddy does. Daddy, I want to go to... Oh, that makes all of us. Alright? That means we're all good together. Daddy, what about mommy? Me? Mommy? Okay, okay. 
everybody goes. All right? Good. Dad wants to get ice cream. You want ice cream? Shouldn't you want ice cream too? Yes. Okay. So we'll go to our rooms, get dressed, and we'll go out to buy ice cream. Okay. First, we'll get to the room. I'm going, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Engineer, what are you doing? Sir, what, sir? Why are you delaying this work? <laughs> so as you can see, we've already moved down to the electric side and all we need to wait for the block to get a uh, grand. Listen to me, I don't give a damn. Whether they set or rise, fire this work. I don't have time. Sir, you know, in due time, we'll see what we can do, sir. Yeah, try that best. I don't want it in due time. I want it immediately. Don't you understand? When I say time is not my friend, oh God, Rosie, one more thing. If I come back here next week and this house is not ready, you'll be fired. But sir, we are trying to... You had me right, you'll be fired. Besides, you know, I promised the kids a trip to America next summer. I don't know how I'm going to get about it. If I were you, I'll cancel it. I don't have kids, so I'm not worried. Whatever worries you? Nothing. Nothing. I called you to let you know that. Akaba is dead. Who is Akaba? The one you know. Akaba that I, I saw two hours ago? He died 30 minutes ago. Why are you looking down cast? Don't try to discourage me. It's my turn next. Disillusioned, I'm not happy at all. Because if you look, all my friends, all the people that I, I, I came, like that, that, that came even after me that I came, they have all become members, they have become big, big boys. Since I have been with you, I'm you're not even helping me to become a big man. You're not helping me to. I'm going to look at Fred. Fred, Fred, who, uh, uh, that just came yesterday. He's so rich now, he goes to the left and right. He has taken title. I need to hear each other. Each other, I'm going to no, no, I'm telling you to help me. Let me become a member. I, I, I've stayed here, I've served you. You're just speaking the 10 naira, 15 naira. That's what you want me to do to serve you forever. You don't you know if you're just helping me, helping me to grow up. Oh, I can borrow someone every day. To the pussy, you don't keep forever. If I'm going to achieve it, I'm going to achieve I want to resign. 
I'm going to achieve what I want to design. I'm going to achieve where I want to go in the letter of resignation. I'm going to achieve what you don't have anything to say to me. I'm going to achieve what this thing you're doing is not good, though. Let me just say, you don't want me to be a member. You don't want me to. Okay, today is your turn, though. Tomorrow, tomorrow might be my turn. Today I'm a, I'm a small boy. Tomorrow I might become a big, big boy. Just help me to become a member now. You don't want me to become a member. I'm going to have resigned. I'm going to have resigned. I'm going to Tell me you're not being a man. Listen, Norbert. My heart is broken. Please. Just leave enough for back and enjoy when you die. But did that man say that death is death? What did what I said? Wasn't that what he said? Well, death is death. However, it comes. So why is he not dead? Why is he not dead? Is he not over 50? Good problem. It's not knowing you. What do you mean by a good problem? Don't keep telling me you're when I talk to you about it, you're trying to shut me down. No! What are you not talking about? I sacrificed my father. A woman who suffered for me. I sacrificed my own father. My twin sister and my first wife. Wait, and I abandoned my mother. A woman who took care of me. Did everything for me. Turned my wife into a victim. A wife who was actually begging me to die for me. What are we not talking about? What still? I personally arranged the banishment of my only blood sister from our village. A girl who fed my family, paid my daughter's school fees, did everything. And all these things happened when I met you. Bastard! You wicked soul! You turned my life upside down! Don't you want me to make unlimited money? So for so You, you, I ask you again. Of what use is all this money without happiness? Answer me! Right now. Do what? 
You are asking me what your father and I did before you were born. Hey. No way. You must do it in my presence. And I must watch it happen. Oh, yes. What are you saying? Look at your clothes. Hey, wait, are you crazy? Mwaji, on channel you won't in. People are saying that you're not a man. You must prove it to me today that you are a man. You will do it in my presence. Can you just wait till tomorrow? Don't waste time, boy. No. I will shout. Oh. I will go to the village. No, I will shout. I will wake up the village. Villagers! Hey! No. I will shout. It's okay. Ah. Remove your clothes. 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 Prove it to me that you're a man. Okay. okay. I'm not going anywhere. Eh? Watch. I'm going anywhere. You saw my nakedness as a child. I am not going anywhere. You saw my nakedness as a child. Just leave. Just leave. I should go. Yes. I'll do it. Let me go. Yeah. Do it, Tom. It's okay, I will do it now. Don't need to stand there. Never you make love to any woman you marry. The day you do that, you're a dead man, says Obaka.
say what? Yes. Yes. And you have been complaining. Yes. They will be put to shame. All these people that have been talking. I have done some. I'm really happy for you. I'm, Excuse me now. Let me see him inside. Hey! You did it? Hey! Only come on, Eh? Only come on, Pussy. My son is the one. You have seen it now. I heard voices. Are you alright? Yes, everything is alright. Are you sure it's okay? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, you can okay. But there are tears in your eyes. I must have been sweating. Are you sure? Yes, I'm okay. If you say so. Oh! 
Yes, sir. Okay, no, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. What of your daddy? It's fine. And your mommy? Everybody's okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, my sister. Okay, your sister? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, welcome. You're a good boy, eh? No problem, sir. Tell them you met uh, Aguna Yes, sir. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, sir. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The Lord will be your strength. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you, 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 sir. Thank I am here to beg for your forgiveness. Please forgive me. I know I've wronged you. Please also ask your God to forgive me. It is not my God. It is our God. Okay, all right. Please ask God to forgive me. Why don't you come tomorrow so that we'll have enough time to discuss? No. I must travel today. I have an important meeting with my friends. Well, in that case, why not come any time you are in town? Any time? Maybe. Maybe. But please, pray for me, Father. All right. Then yeah, let me pray for you. How are you feeling now? Are you see? That's very fine. I told you the devil is a liar. Ah, oh, he is a big liar. Mighty one. Father, I don't know why my brother refused that my mother will be buried. At least for her spirit to rest. For the past nine months now, her corpse has been at the mortuary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry. I will. Uh... I'll give you some prayers and uh, some psalms to read. And uh, I suggest you should fast for three days. And then I also suggest that you should go to the grotto to seek, solicit Mother Mary's help. Thank you, Father. Thank you. It's beautiful, man. I'm sure you're happy. <laughs> let us see. Let us see a short prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son. Ascended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven where he seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. 
From there he shall come to join the living and the dead. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, one without end. Oh, our great Jesus, for our sins, save us from the fire of hell. We don't souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of us. I don't mind. Oh, I'm not I'm waiting. 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 Mama, Mama, please. Mama, please. Mama, please. Mama, Mama, please. Please, Mama. Mama, Mama, you kill me. Mama, 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 please. And you please. don't want to marry me. Please, Mama. What have I done? You have to marry me. Please. Why are you disturbing my peace? It's my mother. He's been disturbing me. She's been appearing to me. The last time she appeared, she gave me a slap across my face. And as we speak now, I can barely hear what is my right ear. It's paining me. Can you hear now? Yes. Yes. Yes, I can hear. I can hear. Fred. I can hear. Yes. I must pin down the spirit of your mother before she is buried. Please do, please. If not, she will be worse. Now you can go home and resume your normal duties. I will pin down her spirit, never to disturb you again. Thank you very much. Please do. Thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you. Thank you, Opaka. Anything for you to leave me alone, please. No. 
You cannot do anything. What else can you do? Everything you say that we do it, please. <laughs> please. Unless you confess, Afoma. Confess? Yes. Confess to whom? Confess to everyone. You confess to your wife. <laughs> don't, don't say that. <laughs> to my grandchildren. No, 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 please, please. To your mother-in-law. No, please, please. To my daughter, Chica. Please, no, no, no. To Father Reginald. Oh, no, no, please. In fact, you just have to confess to everyone. Would you go away, please, uh, please, uh, give me another task. I'll do it. No, I can't confess, please. Confess. Confess. Forgotten today is Friday. Today is Friday. Still the end of everything. You are still the end of the road. So why she still disturbing me? Well, I uh, I took her too lightly, but no longer. You can now go home and sleep like a baby. Uh, listen, let me tell you, I will go home. But if I ever see her again, I will confess. I will confess. No one threatens so Aka. Now get out. I will do anything. I will do anything. Make sure I don't see her again. Or I will threaten you, threaten you, Maka, or whoever you call them. That's it. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. I don't understand anything anymore. The appearance of my, my mother's ghost, to me, is becoming worse and worse every day. Every day. Something, something should be done about it. It is the stubborn fly that enters the grave with the corpse. I have given you all the wealth. All the good things of life. Can't you be patient, you stubborn fool?
Serious. Your next life will be that of abject poverty. And you will suffer and suffer and suffer till you die. Please, please, I'm sorry.
unbind her spirit forever. Amen. Father, Amen. I am calling upon you this morning to come down. 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 To come succeed where I failed? And what gives you the impression that with all these little charms you gather from the native doctors here and there, that you can catch the spirit of that woman who has defeated me so far? And why do you always attempt to take souls away from me? And now you want to take Fred away? I will not let you. You man of little faith, I bind you, I beg you, shut up! reported a minor hit, but everything about you, including your liver, seems to be failing. What does the man know, Doctor? Hey, Doctor, look at her. What? Look at her. Who? Hmm? My mother. My mother, look at her there. She's standing there. Don't worry. No, don't leave me, Doctor. Don't leave me, please. Don't leave me, please. Don't leave me, please. Don't leave me, Doctor. So you killed out you, your mother, because of money. Afumwa, what did I do to you? Afumwa, I told you to confess, and you went to that fake pastor. Why didn't you go to Father Reginald? Why? Mama, please forgive me. I'm sorry, Mama, please forgive me. Ah! Ah! Afu, you must confess. Confess! You just have to confess. Please confess. Confess! Who's the mama? Mama, don't touch me. Who's this? Mama, please don't touch me. Don't touch me, mama. Relax, Who's friend. There? Relax, friend. Who's there? Who's there? The doctor. Doctor, doctor, doctor. I can't see you. I can't see you, doctor. Am I blind? Am I blind? Doctor, I can't see you. Don't worry, everything is okay. Please, relax. Doctor, don't leave me alone. Don't leave me alone, please. Doctor, don't leave me alone. For my family. I want to see my family, please. I'll just do that. Relax. Please, please, go alone. It's okay. Come, my family. Come, my family. Come, my family. I am blind. Oh, you are blind. 
This is the worst thing that could ever, the worst thing that could ever happen to me. Yes, Mama. Yes, Mama. 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 Mama, I can't see you. It's okay, Fred. It's okay. Mama, I can't see you. It's all right, Fred. We will be your eyes. Fred! Father. Yes. Father, are you like? Yes. Father, are you Father, are you Yes. Thank God. 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 I have a confession to make, Father. A confession to make. Please. Please. Pray for my son. Peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you, Father. Father, what are you saying all this now? <laughs> I know, I can't see. I know, I know. I know, I know. The confession, the confession. Right now, this is right now. Shut up! You must not confess! That's the evil one! That's his voice! I can hear his voice, Father! You must confess. Confess! Papa, 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 I will confess. I will confess, Papa. Shut up! You must not confess! Papa. Go away! Go away, evil one! I told you I have nothing to do with you anymore! Who are you? What right have you to know about me? You are of the evil. You have no right whatsoever over the anointed of the Lord. Hmm. Fred's soul is mine, and no one can take his soul away from me. No soul belongs to you. All souls belong to the Almighty God. We shall see. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go! Run face! Confess. Father, the confession. Father, Father, the confession. Father, the confession. Father, the confession. Father, 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 Confess. Father, the confession. I belong. I belong to a, a very deadly cult. I belong to a deadly cult. Mama! They forced me. They forced me. They forced me. To kill my mother. I've done it for me and my family. 
Ah, forgive me, you friend. It's okay. It's all right. Nothing is going to happen to you. You will wash your breath for my soul. Pray for my soul. Why is he talking like this? Why is he talking like this? Mama, please, please, take care of my family. Sorry, take care of my family. It's always better. Father, please, Father, please. No matter how you get up and 